Cause I just asked this nigga if he ever seen New Jack City. He goes, "Of course, I had BET." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, of, of course, every comedian, especially like on Comic View and all those kind of shit, they all talked about it. But like the way they used to like cover up curse words in those BET versions of movies. Oh my god, it was the worst. It's like, yo, just blank it out. Just blank it, like mother clucker. It's like, why are you doing that? That shit is stupid. Damn. Yo, it's this shit too on they're Christian, they're family friendly. What, BT? Whoops. I don't think so. Were they? I don't I don't think they I mean Tyler, you know, it's very like Christian influence. They back up Tyler Perry shit is all on fucking B E T plus, bro. But I think that's because Tyler Perry is considered to be like the most successful black person ever. <laughs> oh, what about Obama? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, he was president. He don't got the same amount of money as Tyler Perry. <laughs> I mean, right now, him and him and Michelle got a wild ass fucking um, they got a wild ass fucking deal with Netflix. Yeah, I was just about to say. Yeah. I think I like ninety million dollars or some shit like That's that. Fucking OD. I mean, not really. They, yo, the one the one thing I watched that they did so far was fucking um, the uh, the, they did a documentary called like China called like China Factory, and it's basically how this Chinese company bought a factory in America, and then they like sent over like Chinese, you know. Uh, site managers and Chinese foremen and shit, yo, and they were very unhappy with the work ethic of Americans. Like, yo, they had a whole class where they were like, these Americans, they're, they're fat, they're lazy. They always get told that they're doing good. They need constant, re- they need constant motivation. They need constant, they need, they need you to constantly tell them that they are great. And then they use like some old Chinese proverb where they were like, the donkey likes when you stroke his hair in the direction that it grows. That was, the <laughs> yo. Then one dude, this white dude, oh, uh, <laughs> he came. Well, not necessarily, but is it recording? Huh? Yeah. yeah. Not. Okay. Yeah, Isaac. I no, can't. Isaac. <laughs> I'm not recording. I'm just yeah. talking to you. Like yeah. I would, like I would talk to you when this shit. Yo, just to let y'all know, I don't talk to this nigga when it's <laughs> not recording. All right. I don't fuck with this nigga. Wow. I hired this nigga to be on my show. <laughs> Yo, but mm. basically, they told this nigga that um, this nigga, uh, he, he, basically he came in, and they came in the break room, and then usually the TV would be on probably Fox News or something like that or whatever, and then in the break room, the TV was showing fucking, like, Chinese propaganda. Like, it was like a little Chinese kid on a swing, but, like, the, the family obviously only had one child. Like, you know, shit like that, you know what I mean? Like, a bunch of Chinese propaganda videos, and this nigga went to the office wilding. Yo, and then the Chinese guy, he was sitting there talking to the American. They had, like, a guy who was, like, there to, like, translate. And he was saying to him, like, why? He was like, why do? He's like, why you let them leave? He was like, what do you mean? He was like, he was like, I tell them stay overtime. And they all say they leave. He was like, you can't make them stay? He was like, no, we can't make them stay to do overtime. This is not good. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, then. They showed that, like, some of the factories in China have, like, a maternity ward. So the lady oh can have, like, God. have the baby and go right back to work. Oh, my God. Yo, I saw, yo, I remember they showed us, like, in school, like, the fucking, um, the nets. Yeah, around the, I think it was around the Apple building. Yeah, it was. They, the, they yeah. put, they put, basically put safety nets around the Apple building because the motherfuckers was jumping off. They was going to the roof and commit suicide. Because they probably had them doing, like, 48-hour shifts. I heard the motherfuckers got to wear diapers. So yeah, it's like you don't have I so you, have, so you don't take shit. bathroom breaks, and then like I mean, but but it's like then uh, imagine it's like what's okay, what's worse, Ching Zong taking two seconds to go take a shit, twenty minutes to go take a shit, or him having to go literally change his own diaper? It's like what? <laughs> uh, excuse me, I need to go change my diaper. I have an apple diaper. <laughs> The fuck? An apple, diaper. An apple diaper. Yo, Apple probably will start making diapers. <laughs> Jesus, man. they would. They really would. A smart, shit like, they would a do smart some shit diaper. Like that. Smart diaper. Eye diaper. So you could tell what your kid is eating. <laughs> smart diaper. Oh fuck. Tesla would get on that shit ASAP. What Elon Musk? Yeah. 
probably would. He's he's got a baby now, so he probably would do that. He do, he he's puts like, his hmm. he like he literally hmm. he's like hmm, I have a new I have this new thing at my home that I wish to experiment upon. <laughs> it's like he's trying to like create every I don't know. It's like he does every fucking thing. I mean, kind he of. He's, space. he's a quote unquote <laughs> Renaissance man of like space that automobile kinda. and shit. He's like, like, a, he's I, like I know like it's a, engineering. He's like a Silicon Valley Renaissance man. Like he. Makes cars and fucking rocket ships and fucking what else does he make? I don't know. What else does he make? I remember he was um discussing like redoing the whole fucking uh, the subway system in L.A. and shit. Yeah, no, that's just him being Kanye West. He needs to relax. <laughs> like niggas need to chill with this whole like I have this way. Of, like, they, they call them futurists. Like that's what they call those kind of people. Uh-oh. Like people who think like like Kanye was talking about that shit when he was on cocaine, obviously on cocaine on the radio. And he was like, "I'm the new Medici. I'm gonna do this thing." And he was like, "I told him. I went to them. Listen, I went to him. I said, yo, a movie theater, but with like seven screens. So it's a screen right here. It's a screen on top of that. Screens on the side of your screen. That's a dumb idea, Kanye. It's a dumb idea. Stupid. Like now, if you drew it and you had it done up and mocked up in like some designer way, it probably would look cool." It would Probably. look cool in like a movie, like a movie about the future. It's like, but to actually go to that, that sounds shitty. It's like, holy shit, Iron Man's going to the left. Let's all turn our heads. No. What the fuck? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. It, it, doesn't make any sense. it just, it's just, and it's also just dumb. You're trying to, you're trying to innovate something that doesn't need to be innovated. You don't really need to innovate movies. I think 3D is as far as it needs to go. The only next step is obviously is holographics. Yeah. But it's like. Back to the future too. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, Jaws like, I mean, ninety one and shit. But I mean, we already kind of well, not not widespread, but they have holographics and they have like holographic, like we'll have holographic like advertising first, probably. Then the next step of holographics will be the fucking Tupac shit, basically. But it'll be with real people, so it's like, all right, instead of you having to pay two hundred dollars to, you can't pay two hundred dollars to go see fucking. Uh, Beyonce at the LA Forum or whatever the fuck. I don't know where the fuck this bitch performs. But like a big place, like Arena, you would have to pay $200 for a ticket. But instead, you go down to Toad's Place and you pay $20 to see her hologram from that show live. Like her live hologram performing. You know what I mean? That's I remember I remember when they um they did the Tupac show. Yeah. Yeah. It was creepy. It was. <laughs> it was <laughs> like, <laughs> imagine how Snoop felt. You know what probably- Watching, Yo, seeing your, your dead homie like on a hologram. Like, what He's the like, fuck? this shit. I like this shit. <laughs> He's like, yo, bring back more dead niggas. <laughs> I want to do a, a duet with with Prince. <laughs> it's like, nigga, what the? Yo, it looked creepy because to me, it's like <clears throat> when you look at like all the shit they say about Hollywood, like the creepy, esoteric, like occult shit they're into. They probably had this nigga like soul trapped in a little bottle, and they put it in this machine. It just projects this nigga. It just projects Tupac. It just takes his soul and just projects him onto the stage, and then he goes back to the bottle like a fucking genie, and he's just trapped until they're ready to use him again. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> he said that sucks like it's real. Damn, they got Tupac like that. <laughs> they got him in a shoebox. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I mean, that hologram shit. Like, if they do movies like that, that shit would be yo. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Yo, guess what I forgot to do, y'all? I forgot to turn up this nigga's headphones. All right, bet. Here you go. Now you should be good. I forgot Hello. to turn up this nigga's headphones. This whole time, he didn't just say, can you turn up my headphones? Because he's a consummate professional. You know, he tried to stick with it. He let me figure out that his headphones weren't turned up. But I think now, like, intermittently, I'm going to just, like, turn his headphones down, and then I'll turn them back up, and I'm going to turn his mic down and turn his mic back up. Yeah, that's the kind of shit we're going to do on this podcast. This is a prank podcast. We're pranking each other. Pranking? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yo, 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 Isaac, guess what? What? I'm going to give you $20. Guess what? No, I'm not. Pranked you. I don't care. <laughs> you sure? Cause it was you just you just were a little iffy about giving me six dollars. It took you a while. Yo, he, yo, he. I told him, yo, I told him the shit was five dollars, and I said, actually, yo, just give me an extra dollar, cause, of, cause of whatever. And then he's like, he, he paused. He paused over a dollar. He's like, hold on, late, wait, 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 wait. Hmm. Six dollars. Listen, listen, listen. Now, when you said five dollars, I was gonna go right into my pocket. But when you said six dollars, <laughs> did you just say another dollar? Six bucks for a lighter? I'm like, damn, all right. Yeah, for a fucking lighter. I paid for these lighters. They're custom made lighters, y'all. I respect that. I respect that. <sighs> Yo, this is what's wrong with people of color. You don't, you don't respect my hustle, dog. 
That's the problem, nigga. You don't that respect my hustle, dog. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, though. A nigga like you, you don't respect nobody hustle, dog. <laughs> you come through, looking for free shit. You never respect a nigga hustle, dog. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to hit you with mad, uncle. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hit you with mad hood nigga characters. Yo, I was watching uh fucking uh fucking uh the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the shit on Disney Plus, right? It's fire. One part they had the Falcon couldn't get a loan because he's black. What the fuck? Yeah, that was kinda cool. Cause it it was funny because the loan officer was like and she was like, Well, you know he's you know, he's good for it, blah blah blah. Cause basically the nigga was he was telling him like he was like, Well, he's like, Do you he's like, do you have like a like a like um like, do you have, like, a way to, like, do you guys make money? Do you get paid? And I'm like, no, nigga, he saves, they saved the world for free, bitch. Give the nigga a loan. What the fuck? And then he was like, and the sister, I guess she was kind of like, yeah, you know, he's good for it. He's, you know, he's whatever. He saved the world. Like, you know what I mean? He he was in the Air Force and all that shit. He was like, oh, yeah, we, I mean, he's a hero. But it's like basically saying, like, I mean, yeah, of course, he's he's black, but he's a superhero. So, if, I mean, yeah, we, we give him the loan, but we can't. You know what I'm saying? But then the last episode, the second episode, they made me cringe. Because the police stopped Falcon. The police stopped him. The, the police, police stopped him. Yes. Him and him and him and Winter Soldier were having a, were having mm. a fucking argument in the street. And the police was like, Are you okay, sir? Is he bothering you? Well, <laughs> what the fuck? They put some like, Wait, it's this, like this is like the okay. Cause I have not watched this show at yeah. all. So I'm just like, what the fuck? Yo, it was like, why did you put that in here? There was no need for that. Like, it's like, okay, it's like, bro, like, okay, because there was another part where the, the loan shit was like, I was like, okay, cool, I get that. Because it's like, it is a true thing that's like, I shouldn't have to be an exemplary black person to get a loan because there are white people who are underachieving like a motherfucker and they're coming in here getting loans. So that's all, I'm, that's the whole point. I get that. That's That's okay. And then the other shit was, there was a kid who was like, what up, Black Falcon? Damn, it's Black Falcon. He was like, it's just Falcon, kid. He was like, my dad said, you Black Falcon. He was like, do I come around calling you Black Kid? <laughs> and he was like, got him, right, whatever. And I was like, okay, that's not that bad. Because they're saying, like, you know what I mean? He doesn't have to be Black Falcon. He's just, his name is Falcon. That's his name, the Falcon. Okay, his name is not the Black Falcon. Okay. Just Falcon. So I was like, that's cool. But then when the police run up on this nigga, I'm like, Oh no! Shit. You don't need to be touching on this subject, Disney. You you need to leave this alone. This is not. We don't need. It's like yo. I hate Hollywood people feeling like you know what? It's time that we said something about this. It's like people already did. They burnt shit down and beat police the fuck up. They said something. You don't. We don't need you. We're okay. We're good. Disney Plus. We don't need you to say. And they're even racist towards superheroes. It's like. Yo, when I see that shit, like the whole, like all the celebrities like collab together for like that fucking dumbass one minute thirty second ass shit. Tell so me when they sang the song, the Imagine or whatever. Or no, it's like uh, when they when they do like uh, when they speak on a subject. Mm -hmm. It's just like ill. Yeah, it's like ew. I I check my privilege. I will I will see people. For, it's like shut the fuck up. You're only doing it because it's marketable and it's palatable right now. Because you weren't doing this shit before. What? It's like, just stop. Just stop, yo. And uh, it, it just makes me feel like, as a black person, it just makes me like, like, that shit is disrespectful. It's like, I'm not weak. I don't need you to help me. Motherfuckers hit the streets over this shit. You know what I'm saying? It was it was real. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, it's like, it's going to happen like that. And I guess the point hasn't been made because these police are still doing the same shit. But at, yeah. the, sa but at the same time, it's just like, they don't. we don't need you to do... Uh, Hey, is he bothering you? And the Falcon's like, oh, it's like, what the fuck? It's like, that shit was so fucking corny. That shit made me cringe. It's like, it's just like, it's just, it's just too much, bro. Like, I feel they want to touch on social subjects or whatever the fuck, but. But when the kid said, my dad said, you black Falcon. And I was like, yeah. That's what I'll probably call you too, bro. <laughs> his dad like, like his dad like, shit, who y'all like? Iron Man? Fuck that shit. That's a little rich boy. Bitch ass rich boy. Black Falcon? Shit, he came out from the mud. He was Captain America's best friend. He came out from the fucking mud. <laughs> Captain America looked at him and said, I like you. That's Captain America. <laughs> the fuck? Black Falcon. Motherfucker got his own football team and everything. Nigga. Black Falcons. The Black Falcons. They play every Sunday. Preparing their aerial assaults. He was like, it's just Falcon, kid. I was like, okay, that, I get it. But it's like, then when he got stopped by the police, I'm like, okay, you're doing too much now. Now you're wilding. It's like, okay, 
Black Falcon can't get alone. Black Falcon <laughs> can't get can't get the proper <laughs> He can't get the proper recognition. He needs a color in front of his name. Oh, now the police. It's like nigga, not for nothing. If I'm an Avenger, right? And the police stop me, I'm beating the shit out of the police. <laughs> I stopped Thanos. I brought your mom back, bro. I brought your kids back, bro, from the snappity snap, bro. I'm whooping your ass. I don't give a fuck. You fucking thank me. Does thank Avenger, me. nigga, does Avenger not trump cop? <laughs> if you had to go up to hierarchy, don't you think Avenger would be higher than cop? A man with the fucking what, handcuffs and shit versus fucking super strength and shit? It's yeah, like, it's what like, the fuck? Nigga, what? And he really stopped. Uh, and then he ended up arresting the Winter Soldier because he had warrants. <laughs> I'm dead ass. <laughs> this is fucking disgusting. <laughs> I already hate this show. I hate this show now. <laughs> the action in it is good. I, the action in it is is good. It has, I mean, Marvel in wait, general who, who, is like who directs it? Uh, some person. I don't know. I mean, usually, usually with, it seems that with the shows so far, like the Disney Plus shows, it seems like they're just getting like, like TV people, like people who have done TV, like done like directed episodes of, I don't know, fucking whatever the fuck people watch on TV, Sons of Anarchy. Let's just say, you know what I mean? And they bring them in to direct some episodes or. Whatever, I don't know. <laughs> I saw the people who dread. It's like, I've never heard of these people. They're not anybody notable, like, as far as, like, big names. But, I mean, it was cool. Whatever. I mean, the action in it was cool. The story. I like I like seeing the comic book shit that they put in there because I like, you know what I mean? I used to read comic books. So, like, I like seeing, like, the comic book shit they put in there. But, I mean, other than that, the Snyder Cut was fire. Did you see that shit? No, I did not. Yeah, you got to watch that shit. You have HBO Max, right? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, watch yep. that shit. Fucking the Snyder Cut of Justice League was, that shit was dope. I mean, his movies are usually really depressing, but it, it, that style fit this movie. You know what I'm saying? You know what's so weird, too, is that the reason he had to stop doing the movie or he had to stop in post-production, I think the movie's already done, but he had to go over because his, his daughter killed herself. And then he came back, and then they gave him, they let him release the Snyder Cut, which is a four his four-hour director's cut of the movie. It's just, I don't know. Hollywood's weird. Hollywood's weird, Yo. bro. I'm trying to turn this shit on. Isaac, you have dead air. Talk. What the oh fuck? I'm trying to do something. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just sitting here chilling and shit. But power on. No shit. Bluetooth pairing. But I don't know. Like, I listen to fucking. Uh, I love uh, Charlie Murphy's True Hollywood Stories and shit. And yeah. it's like, when you think about that shit, it's like, how often does that shit really happen? What the kind of shit that Charlie Murphy used to talk about? No, because like. You hear like it's either one or the other. It's either Hollywood's either nice and chill, or well, fucking I mean, or if you, it, evil as fucking demonic and shit. I think I think it's both. It can be both, but at the same time, also you have to remember that, like even if you look at Charlie Murphy, what he was telling his true Hollywood stories, it's still very weird. Like you go to a dude's house who him and his, all his friends are wearing women's clothes. He's the number one R and B act in the country. He's wearing all women. They're wearing blouses. And he goes Shirts out. Shirts versus the blouses. And then he had clothes on hand. He had basketball clothes on hand for them to wear, to change into, to play basketball in. Mm. <laughs> Why uh. do you have men's clothes in different sizes in your house, Prince? <laughs> Just in case a nigga pull up and want to pull a five on five? Weird. Anyway. Five on five. And then they play. <laughs> then they play. Fucking Survivor Series and shit. <laughs> then they play the fucking, they play the game. And afterwards, he serves them pancakes. Which I guess people say is a staple of Prince's home that he always like they party and then like six a.m. before everybody like when everybody's getting ready to leave or everybody's tired he serves everyone pancakes. It's fucking weird. It's just weird. Then the story of Rick James. It's just the story of a man's d- d- pouring, flushing his life down the toilet with drugs. Who <laughs> the hell of a drug? Yo, that shit was fucking hysterical. When he was like, shit, why the fuck would I do? Why would I put my feet on somebody's couch? Yeah, I remember doing that shit. I put my feet on his Eddie's couch. Yeah, I was like, that's cocaine. What the fuck, nigga? That yeah. shit, I've, I've dabbled. That shit kills brain cells. You yeah. like, nigga? The shit that I forgot. Power on. The shit that I forgot because <laughs> I never connected that shit. The shit that but. I've forgotten with that shit far outweighs the shit I've forgotten smoking weed. Smoking weed is like you like for a second you like oh yeah like a little like brain fart. Yeah. That shit, like, my sitting br- there for a minute, sitting for a minute and be like, 
For real? Your shit? Yeah, yeah. then don't ever do hard drugs. Because you'll be done. <laughs> I do not You'll be on. like him. You'll be like, I slapped you, motherfucker. That was weeks ago. He was like, nigga, that was tonight. Yo, did you ever oh see the God. did you ever see the deleted scenes ones? Like the deleted uh, trolley with stories? No, I haven't. This was the best one ever, right? I see the full I see the full like, Rick James shit uncut. There was this football player who got uh fucking there was this football player who got um who got uh uh paralyzed. He got paralyzed from I think the neck down. He was sort of like, I guess there was like a, you know, like kind of like a sympathy tour for him and people were whatever. He was all over the news. And then like, I guess there was this restaurant that Eddie and Eddie, Eddie Murphy and Charlie Murphy used to go to with the friends. And they were in like some special booth in the uh, court or some I, I, shit. I know what you're talking about now. Right? I know what you're so talking about. So then the guy shows up in his chair because he's, he's, he's what's in front of the neck down. He's with like two women, you know, who are probably like with him to like, I don't know, garner some goodwill for themselves. Like, oh, look at us. We're so progressive we're <laughs> hanging out with this guy who can't who can't touch us <laughs> but anyway yo what the fuck is it like to like do they like like spoon feed this nigga they had to yeah how else is he gonna eat or, or they put him like, like or, or they give him like a okay. bag with some stuff in it and they have a straw that goes to his mouth he has one what? straw to drive seriously they have one straw to go they blow in to go fucking <laughs> and it makes the shit go and fucking like, Joe from fucking Family Guy. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, so it's like one. It's like you might be trying to get some applesauce, but instead you make your shit push up a little bit. But um, this. So then this thing comes in with two bitches, and I guess he tells the um the waiter like, "Yo, they in my booth." And I'm I'm guessing that this reason he wanted that booth is because it's probably the only booth that was big enough to fit that big ass chair in there or something or whatever. I don't know. Whatever. Probably. Like uh, whatever. I, I mean, I, anyway. So. Basically, the dude is like, say, whatever. So they, so they come over to them and they're like, "Yo, um, so and so is over there, the football player. You know, remember he? Yeah, he got paralyzed. Yeah, he he was wondering if you guys could give him this table. You know what I'm saying? And I guess Charlie Murphy's like, "Man, fuck that shit. Hell no, nigga, fuck that shit. We gonna leave when we're gonna leave. Yeah, we are gonna leave when we gonna leave. Type shit. So then I guess the nigga was talking shit over there, talking shit, whatever, whatever. So then Charlie Murphy goes over to him and says, and he says to him, he said, motherfucker, he said, don't think because you can't feel none that I can't hurt you. I'll beat the fuck out your <laughs> head." <laughs> And they say he's yo, he shut the fuck up for the whole fucking night. <laughs> yo, he that's some hear diabolical a, shit. Yo, you he, he sat there quiet. That's so some diabolical shit, bro. Just Charlie, no movement. Charlie Murphy was a legend, man. He I don't I, I mean, I don't think he was really good at like comedy comedy, like stand up comedy. But every movie or TV show I've ever seen him in, which wasn't many, but like he was in Players Club, he was good in that shit. He was in um, fucking Dave Chappelle's show. He was wasn't in, he on Soul Plane? Uh, no, he was oh, in CB4. Sure. He was good in CB4 in Gust at Gusto. If you if you want to go watch some funny shit, go watch CB4. That's a good ass movie. But yeah, man, R.I.P. Charlie Murphy. That was a funny guy. Yo, we were in high school when that shit came out, and like niggas, I def- was like what? <laughs> niggas definitely went to school that Monday because I think those shows aired on Sundays. Niggas definitely was in school Monday, like, what the five niggas say to the face? Like, there was a lot of people getting slapped that day. Damn. That shit was, that, that shit was, that was one of those things, man. That shit just, like, that shit was a fucking phenomenon, nigga. That shit blew up. Like, literally, I only knew Dave Chappelle from one comedy special that was on HBO. But it was funny. That was the one where, like, the baby was selling weed. That shit was funny. Um, killing him softly. And then fucking, um, and have baked. I didn't know he was, like, that funny. You know what I mean? Like, that kind of funny. Like, that shit was crazy as fuck. Hold on, y'all. I'm just gonna link this motherfucking. I don't know which one this shit is though. Yeah, and here goes Isaac again, not talking. Wow. <laughs> sitting there, yo. Quiet. Connected. <laughs> sitting here, quietly. I'm trying to fucking smoke this fucking blunt. So, oh, yo, so damn. what? That doesn't mean you stop doing your job, yo. God damn, fuck. I'm over here trying to find something else for topics. Guess what? Guess St. What? Louis police officers on trial for beating black undercover detectives. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wait, what the fuck was that whole shit about with the uh, woman um, getting arrested in the jury? Not in the jury, but like she uh, knocked on the uh, mayor's The governor's position. door. That's yeah, the shit we were just watching sure. earlier, yeah. It was a, she's a, she's in this, um, she's, I, a, I she's, I a, she's I a state representative. Right now. She's a state representative. Three police officers are on trial in St. Louis accused of brutally beating one of their own. In September of 2017, <laughs> Detective Luther Hall was working undercover at a protest that erupted after... Yo, he was undercover at a Black Lives Matter protest, being a fucking rat, trying to probably get information like, hey, yeah, these cops suck. We should kill one, right, guys? And everybody's like, the fuck is wrong with this nigga? Who is this nigga? He's like, yeah, 
Hey, what, like, what's your name? My name's J- uh, John hey, Info. John Info. John Info. <laughs> <laughs> Like what the fuck do you do in that situation? And guess what? And then the cop he was uh, he was undercover at the Black Lives Matter, probably trying to get dirt on black on BLM, right? Oh my god! And then the cops beat his ass, <laughs> <laughs> proving, sh- proving. This <laughs> officer was found not guilty of murdering fucking... a black man that he shot after a car chase. So while at the demonstration, Hall was severely beaten by a group of police officers who say that they thought he was a protester. So? What the? the So? That's the point. That's the point. Protester. It's so Protester. Rioter? Whatever, okay. So if you see somebody literally coming out of the front of a fucking place stealing some shit, don't shoot them, because that's part of the problem. But yeah, go arrest them. That's fine. Yeah. But a person who's protesting, you're not supposed to be arresting them. You're not supposed to be beating them or anything. Protest is legal as you're fuck in this country. You're supposed to keep a fucking eye on them. And just, it, it, yeah, I mean, yeah. of course, whatever. People get a little antsy around that shit. That's whatever. But, like, what the fuck, my nigga? That shit shows it right there. It's like he probably said he was a cop. And they're like, yeah, don't try that shit now. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. That's just like a, yeah, no, that's that old as trick in a book. Cult. That shit is like, that shit is sounding Put like away that cult. fake badge. Weak. Following this story for us now is a investigative reporter. I said it sounds like a cult. (laughs) What, being a cop? It sounds like it. It is. It's a gang. I know it's a gang, but just It's a fucking gang. No, it's like, they have fucking rituals and shit. Like, oh, we're going to be. I mean, yeah, probably. Yo, they like, like they're bad for like the uh, the day. In initiation, yeah, I bet. That's what I'm trying to say, though. It's like, yo, there's this dude who I, this dude at my job who's like, yeah, I, I want to be a cop. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, bro, and I said that shit what I said before where I'm saying like, yo, basically you got to be naive to want to be a cop because for you to think you're actually going to change the world. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, bro, I said, what do you think is going to happen when you join the force and you go in there and they're like, what you trying to do, rookie? Like, I'm trying to help the community. I said, what you think they're going to do? He's shrugged the shirt like, they're going to laugh at you. Yeah. They're going to laugh at you. Like, nah, that's not what we do here. We're, 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 we're breaking heads. We're cracking heads. Cracking heads. Yeah. That's all, that's all it is, bro. Like, it's just people who want to fuck. Like, it's, just, it's like, yo, if you want to help people, go do something else. Like, okay. that's, that's all I'll say. I don't know. It, Open a soup kitchen. Let let homeless people live in your house. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought about that shit. I was like, wait. I was like, yo, wait. You, always, people- you always thought about that? No, like, okay, like, wait. Okay. He was like, damn. I gave him a dime. He could have just stayed in my house. No, oh my fucking god! Damn, oh, okay. I gave him a how dollar. Nice he could have just came, just came and had dinner. No, I'm always like, okay, how nice can somebody like truly be? Also, real shit. Like, yeah, there worthless. should be limits to. There should be like, limits. Like, what's to the farthest everything. you can go? There should be limits politeness. to everything, even helping people. There should be limits to everything. There should be not unlimited anything. That's why people. But that's what these people are scared of. Like the people who, <coughs> like more right wing, those right wing conservative people, they are scared of a society that they assume would be that way, where it'd be like. It's like, oh, well, you know, this guy is homeless. So we were thinking we're going to do this thing where we'll, we'll move him into your house <laughs> and you can help him get back on. It's never going to be that. It's never going to be that. Like, it never. I mean, don't get me wrong. You have Skid Row in L.A. You have a lot of, like, those small, like, shanty town communities that are popping up everywhere. And people are complaining about it. And they're acting like they're like, this is sad. These people are living yeah, in the streets. Can, but really, they're, they're like... I'm trying to drive to work, and he, he's standing there. <laughs> he's blocking the road. I can see his penis. This is insane. <laughs> I'm just trying to get to work. It's, and, it's a, and it's an eyesore, okay? Yo, remember, when I'm yo. on the road, and I'm trying to have a scenic drive on my way to work, and I see a fucking junkie bitch with her tit hanging out, shooting, shooting heroin into the nipple, you know? Really ruins my day. In a porta potty. It it shits in my coffin. <laughs> it shits in my coffin. <laughs> in a porta potty. She's in a porta potty, sucking off one of the construction <laughs> workers, and I'm like, it's eight a.m. Could you could you wait till noon maybe? Could you wait till noon maybe? But oh my god. I mean, don't get me like, wrong. What? Is it is it an eyesore? Of course. To drive How long to drive it? down a but long ass street and just see a bunch of people oh living in tents in the city. It's weird. Yo, it's remember, jarring. wait, remember at the green this shit that shit happened? Mm-hmm. Wait, what, uh, what year was that? Two thousand like I was like twenty sixteen or seventeen, and they really set up shop. Like Two thousand twelve. They set up shop downtown, and they were like, "Yeah, fucking one percent, twenty percent. I don't know what the fuck this shit is, but I'm sleeping here. Yeah, I'm with. Took it over. Uh, I remember that shit. 
occupy, occupy wherever you want. Just occupy anywhere. <laughs> We're occupying everywhere. Yo, but these motherfuckers set up like basically like a little shanty town downtown. Yeah. And it was like a, a, a homeless people protest. Which, I, yo, oh, that's the so smelliest old. protest. <laughs> that shit was like, what, three, four months? It was like six months, was it? Was it? Was it? Six months I, I, of homeless I, people I, gathering sh- together and probably having sex at night. <laughs> Stinky homeless <laughs> sex. No, that shit, look that shit up. That shit was like, <gasps> I'm thinking about it. That shit was like at least a month. Yo, when I see a at ho- least a month, when I see a homeless or a dope fiend couple, I don't know why I say <laughs> when I see a homeless or a dope fiend couple like what, what walking do you down think? the side of the street. What do you think when you see I this? Just shit? say that's they're gonna have sex and it's gonna be gross because <laughs> like no one's showering. They're just like, under the I, under the I ninety five. No, they usually fuck under bridges. <laughs> <laughs> I know that because we used to go smoke weed at the park and there used to be these homeless couple to be fucking under the bridge. What the fuck? Yeah. That's and then, yo, this dude, like, look, he'll look back and see you. And I guess he'll be like, yeah, it's like one, two. That's not a lot of people. <laughs> Just keep pumping. Just keep pumping. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking nuts. Oh, there's not that many of y'all. That's fucking. <laughs> He's like, man, my nose is stuffy, so I'm going to fuck this bitch. My nose is stuffy, so I'm going <laughs> to fuck this bitch. <laughs> but, zing, got you, homeless people. Yo. Yo, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm kicking you while you're yeah, down. Now, uh, yo. Do, do homeless numerous... people listen to podcasts? <laughs> Yo, what if you found out a homeless person listened to <laughs> Dude, That's why are you listening to jokes? You need to get serious. <laughs> it's like, okay, the amount of fucking homeless encounters that I've had. just Homeless life, encounters? It's, that doesn't sound good. It's just like. That know, sounds like a website, like a porn <laughs> website. Yo, that's the next thing's gonna happen. Someone's gonna go down the skid. Oh, never mind. Just skid. <laughs> say what you're gonna say. <laughs> I don't want to give these. I don't give these sickles any ideas. But it's like oh. the amount of homeless encounters that I've had. It's just like it's been funny. Well, Isaac, it's been one, funny. Isaac, for one, you have frequented public transportation <laughs> such as the bus and, and that walking. Is, that is a, yeah, and walking, walking. And those are high. You're, it's gonna be a high rate. You're gonna run into these these types, these vagabonds, you know. But let's talk. So what's happened? What happened? What, what do he say to you? What do he say to you? One thing a homeless person said to me that I remember is he said, "Damn, she got a body like a coke bottle." I was like, "That's good. <laughs> <laughs> that was good." She got a body like a coke bottle. She got a body like a coke bottle. <laughs> that was a good one. I there was like uh, one dude. We were all it was after um thing summer school I think, and we all chilled outside and we all fucking rolled up and shit. And this fucking homeless dude came over and see sat you're next going to, to summer us, school. This is going to summer school and it's smoking weed at summer school, and wondering why he's at summer school. But go ahead. Fuck you. But I'm trying to think. Did he like fucking? It was like a fucking homeless dude came to us and sat next to us and shit. It was just chilling there. <laughs> he was just chilling there and shit. I'm trying to think. You want to know why? You want to know why? If you go down the line of you, you guys, he's where you're all gonna end up. <laughs> was he sitting at the end of the bench? Yo. <laughs> Downtown, <laughs> we've had so many fucking crackhead encounters and shit. <gasps> yo, yo, this homeless nigga, yo, if a homeless nigga feel comfortable sitting next to you, oh, y'all need yo. to reevaluate. Justin. Yo, yo, old friend of mine, he, he fucking probably, yo, post. Real shit though, on some real shit though, on some real shit though. He just wanted to smoke y'all blunt, that's all. <laughs> he wanted to end. Yo, there was this, there was this crackhead, and we used to be in the hood, there was this crackhead who used to pay us. He used to pay us like $5 for our roaches. What like our fuck? roaches out the ashtray. Damn. Yo, for real. We, yo, we used to have that. But we, he would pay us like $5 for our roaches. And then he'd take that shit, break up all the roaches, and he'd mix it with crack and smoke it in a oh blunt. Oh, my God. Yeah, this nigga's name was Self. Self? Yeah, he's all by myself. All by myself. Muscle. All by all myself. myself. All by myself. Yo, one time he was wearing some, like, you know how people used to, like, customize Air Force Ones where they put, like, 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 like they stitch shit on the side of them? I think, so. yeah, yeah. He had some SpongeBob ones, and they were what? way too small. His heel was hanging out the back of him. He was walking around. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, then one time, because, like, he was a, he was a cool bass head. Like so, like he would chill around the block and shit. Like niggas wouldn't like try like rush like run him off and nothing. He was he was he was funny. And like one time, like my, me and my brother were sitting there, like we seen this. He was like sitting there digging his ass, and these niggas came up. He gave him dap. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> fucking disgusting Yo, we was, ass. We was on the other side of the street crying. crying. And I they didn't know why. How... <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh. Yo, downtown is like if you want if you just like wandering. 
99 percent sure you get a fucking have a homeless. Of course, any down da- nigga. Of course, yeah. Any downtown obvious, but I'm just in saying, it's America. Just the, that's any downtown in America. America. You're right. You are right. But it's just like it, it's any downtown in America. It's like, because they know that's where that they know that's where all the traffic converges. That's where a lot of them end up at. Because like they come off a train or something, or it's weird shit like that. I don't know. It's it, like you have people. What who, are the hotspots for homeless people? <laughs> train stations. <laughs> That's definitely one. Yeah. Like when I was a kid, like also pursuit of happiness shit. Yeah, like when I was a kid, like and I was on like uh, MySpace, fucking early Facebook. Like I would try to go fuck bitches like other places. You know what I'm saying? So I would go take you know what I mean like bitch like oh I live in New York so I take the train and like go up there shit. Yo, train stations all over the United States. Even when I went to, like, I went to, like, I went to go see my boy in Georgia and shit, and I took the train. That shit was hours and hours. But, like, even then, like, when if, like, you go to you other trains. You train? Yeah. You didn't fly? It's, like, 18 hours. I, I was I was a kid. Oh. Uh, I wasn't, I mean, I could have got a, like, I could have got a, but it's, like, it's just, like. 18 hours? Fuck him. Uh, and I stayed there for a while. I stayed in Atlanta for, like, I would go down there and stay for months. Did you smoke? I lived down there for, like, two years. Did you smoke it on the ride? On a train? Did I smoke weed on a train? I don't know. No. Yo. This nigga talking about me taking a train. This nigga never been on a train, obviously. <laughs> Niggas like, you smoke weed on a train? No, nigga. You can't get away with that shit. shit. I remember one time I fucking brought some weed. Um, I brought some weed back with me. And fucking they came with a dog on the fucking train. Oh, shit. My asshole was I on my always, chest. I, I always... <sighs> Wondered, like what that shit feels like. What when well, you know you about to get caught? Yeah, yeah. It's just a sinking feeling, like oh shit. Well, actually, you know, what? I remember this once. I mean, I know, I, maybe yeah. not for some people, because you got some people who just tell. So it's like, fuck it, I'm just snitch. I remember, yeah, I remember this one time in fifth grade, like yo, the fucking dean came in and shit, and like we some fucked up shit happened, whatever. And like I was like fuck, because I was like responsible, so I was like fuck. And I was like damn, and this nigga walked around and shit was just like looking for our handwriting and shit. Why? What would you guys It was like do? a note. Or it was like some dumbass shit. It was a note that somebody wrote to a girl? No, it was just like a note. It was like um, a dumbass. What's that shit? One of those fucking the Chinese fortune teller. Yeah, things. that shit. You guys got in trouble for that? Yeah. I was oh, like, oh, because we're in the Me Too times and they said that's not cool anymore? Yeah. yeah that's that's sexist is misogynist to ask girls to kiss under the bleachers. And then he sat in the room for like fucking 30 minutes. What was that the issue? Was the issue that they felt like that shit was like, what? Because what, what, it had sexual shit in there? Yeah. That's the whole issue. It's like, so. But I uh, yeah, but it's but just, it's like you. I don't know. I, I don't. Know. I, I don't. I don't know how it works. One of them said you're gay. <laughs> oh, and that was a big yeah. deal. Yeah. Okay, going to your school. He went to a liberal arts high school. Going to your school. No, I know, probably was true. No, that one was probably true when they opened it and it said that they were gay. It was like, and then the person was like, yeah. It's like what like. What's the big fucking deal, bitch? Yeah. Uh, See, man, it's like. Yo, this shit was in like fifth grade. This was fifth grade? Yeah. Troop school. <sighs> oh, this is that troop? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I, yeah, that's bad. You can't do that. <laughs> I mean, if you were in high school, I'd be like, man, get the fuck out of here. Just, I, I, you know how we're going to deal with this? Throw this in the trash. <laughs> like, end of story. That's crazy that they sat here and got mad because one of the shit said, you're gay. What year was this like? Oh, they threatened like I think they threatened us with like suspension or some shit. Threatened uh, what? Unless somebody fessed up to it. Yeah. Who cares? What like who? It's a fucking Chinese whatever thingy. It's it like like. I mean, I guess I don't know. I guess I don't know. I don't know. It's because it's just it, I. We didn't do shit like that. <laughs> I got in trouble for like fighting and shit, and like oh this okay, this the shit I got in trouble for. Uh-oh. One was when um there was this girl just this, this this little yo she was like a dyke chick. It was in middle school. She just like she, she brought this picture to school that she found in her mother's drawer, and it was like this <laughs> naked dude, and they're passing it all around class, and everybody's snickering and laughing, and this, this black dude. I'm like, yo, get the fuck out of here. So then the picture, because the picture we all pass around, but the teacher has her back turned or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think she like went to the door and then came back or something, and then this my nigga John. He gets the picture and goes, damn, this nigga African. <laughs> and everybody <laughs> blew up. Like, the whole class blew up laughing. Fucking like pop. Yo, she the took, yeah, pop. he got a big pop. <laughs> and then she took the picture, she seen it, and like, yo, she went crazy and shit. And then fucking, she, he went to the fucking principal. And then they sitting there asking me, they asking me where'd he get it from because he was my friend. So I'm like, where'd he get it from? Like, I don't know. What the fuck you asking me? And they tried to get me in trouble for that shit too. Well, I, I, I did get in trouble for that shit too. I'm like, because I won't tell you who gave it to him? The fuck? Basically want me to snitch. So anyway, 
So then the, t- the, uh, the teacher, that same teacher, she called my house that night. She was just going to call our parents. She called our house. And it's like we had caller ID. So I t- her took her, uh, we took her number and we put it on like one of those like message boards, like one of those chat rooms. And so like, if you want a good time, call me and put her number. She came in the next day crying, bro. She's like, people That's were calling fun. my house oh my all God. day. And they were saying disgusting things to me. And like the girls in the class like, oh, miss, it's, it's okay. What? Damn. Yeah. That's yeah, fucked. and I was in the back room like, excellent, like Mr. That's Burns. Fucked. You think that's fucked up? That's like you, you think we went too far? Uh, yeah, really? <laughs> that's not just cool. <laughs> <laughs> like that's not just cool. Break the big fucking deal, bitch. Yeah, <laughs> that's fuck. not just cool. <laughs> Come on, man. Fuck. She was always. She was annoying. She was an annoying lady. Like, you would tell she was one of the white teachers who worked in the hood and thought she was going to, like, save someone. It's like, get out of here. Oh. I could smell oh, that yeah, on you yeah, like yeah, a dog, you, you yeah, bitch. You. Not even yeah, that. Uh, but yeah, it shouldn't okay. matter. Even if she was the okay. nicest teacher in the world, that's still a good one. I'm sorry. That's smart. I was, like, fucking 12. For my mind for my mind to work that way, come on. You got to give me credit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now I have no sympathy. I have no fucking sympathy. No. <laughs> no. Ha- okay. She's a nice lady. Let's just... So I, that was fucked up to do, even if she was like a nice lady. Uh, that was fucked up to well, do. Well, what did she do? Oh, other than that whole bullshit. I mean, she just was just. Uh, uh, I'm curious to like. I'm, I'm, what else it was just she like do? she like okay. She took. What was her habits? What she took habits? a she took a major interest in all the girls in the class, and that wasn't a problem for me because I'm not one of those kids. I'd never. I wanted to be left alone anyway. You know what I'm saying? Kind of mm. whatever. I just wanted to like fuck around my friends and be left alone. Uh, yeah, the same thing. But yeah. she took a special interest in the girls in the class, but it was like a special interest of. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right, Nicole. You got she's a white lady. Okay. Yeah, that's you got yeah. Uh yeah, I heard that song. Yeah, that's my jam too. It's like Stop you <laughs> fucking bitch. Stop trying to relate to them. <laughs> you don't understand their life. You think you can help, but you can't. <laughs> the fuck? She just an it just used to annoy me a little bit. That's all. It's there was like, only actually okay. At my school, there was only like a couple white teachers that like got over with the kids. Yeah, it was this one teacher. She she was, they, I mean, nobody was really harsh on her, but she was she was fun. She everybody was, everybody fucked fine. with her. Seventh grade. Then we had this. Then we had this, this dude. I think he was gay. Then there was this other teacher we had in high school. That nigga was definitely gay. And then yo, R.I.P. My nigga Cheese. Cheese had was like my nigga Cheese. He what was like Cheese. My my nigga, um, fucking Anthony Brown. Uh, he he went to high school and he played football and shit, you know, football together. And um, our fathers were actually friends. But anyway, he he had went on the computer, right? He was fucking with his computer. He was like, yo, man, you, yo, Mr. P. He was like, I went on his computer. This motherfucker left the browser open. I'm like, word. He was like, yeah. He was like, yo, this nigga be watching some weird ass shit. Oh, I'm not talking about no uh, Joe. <laughs> Listen, he said, I'm not talking about no Joe Schmoporn. <laughs> Joe Schmoporn. <laughs> Joe Schmoporn? Oh, what shit. What the fuck is Joe Schmoporn? Regular porn, nigga. Regular straight man porn, nigga. A dude fucks a woman in a room. Joe Schmo- a dude fucks, fucks a, a woman, woman in a room. That's all that happens. Okay, fucking nothing, Alex Jones. Nothing extra. No, fucking, no okay. extra shit, bro. Fucking about to go Alex Jones and shit? No, I'm just saying, bro. It's like, that shit was so funny. He was like, yo, he be watching some weird shit. That wasn't no Joe Schmo porn. That was Asian shit? Asian S- shit? No, that's also Joe Schmo porn. If it's Asian women, if it's Asian anything else, <laughs> that's not Joe Schmo. That's not normal. <laughs> you going outside the you going outside the box, outside the circle. <laughs> you way outside. Outside of the shape. But no, I'm talking about like he said like like shit with animals and shit and like trannies oh. and all that kind of shit. Yeah. And this was in like two thousand and Four maybe or so. It's like a little iffy. It's not. It, I mean, it's just like, bro. The world hadn't said that was okay yet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, f- f- people are like people are like don't kink shame. I'm like, what? If someone wants someone to puke on their face, yeah, shame them. That's shame. That is disgusting. That's shameful. Yeah, that is people disgusting. sucking on people's feet and shit. That's a thing now. It's very very prevalent. I don't know what's going on with feet. How is that like? The next big thing is feet. It's like, what? 
that was always a weirdo thing. Like Tarantino supposedly he's a weirdo. Yeah, it's like, he's, yeah, weird. he's yeah. weird. But it's like now you have like regular everyday dudes like, yeah, I like hands and feet. Send me a picture of your hand. Yo, you don't know how many chicks, really. Like how many chicks I the know. The hustle I, is real. You don't know how many chicks Only I Only fans has been blowing up. I mean, well, that's just that's just them social engineering to make literally every woman a whore. Mm-hmm. Every woman a whore. Mm-hmm. Like ev- no, no, literally. Every woman is a whore. <laughs> They're all prostitutes now. Everyone's all, got only fans. They're all pro- yeah. They're all prostitutes. They're prostitutes. You're literally a prostitute. Mm. Even digital even if, pr- digital prostitutes. It's, it's the same thing. Uh, yeah, it still has the key word prostitutes. prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like get the fuck out of here. I mean, yo, it's whatever. You don't listen. It's, live, it's, yo, it's, live your it's, life. You don't listen. Live your life. Hey, live your life. You only the live, you only live once, and you know you only live once, and everything. You, you, then you go to hell. You be a hooker, you go to hell. You know? <sighs> I mean, don't get me wrong. If, if, I there's, don't, if there's a woman who... But this is my If there's thing. a woman who can find a dude who will literally pay her $1,000 for a 15-second video of her feet, you would probably be a fool not to take that up. <laughs> if I was your boyfriend, I would strongly suggest for you to do that and take the money. <laughs> and let's do... Let let's let us do something with the money. <laughs> no, but but seriously though, it's like it's just it's just crazy because it's, it's just it's it's a cultural thing. Well, it's this is my thing. thing. The only reason why it's obviously not as like downfall like it's not as um negatively looked at is like because it's not in person. It's all. Uh, it's I digital. don't think that's why it's as negatively looked at. I think it's not negatively it, looked at because everybody's just on this whatever. It just do yeah. Everything's okay. No matter yeah. what. No matter what you are, who you are. <laughs> no matter what you like, what you're into, guys. Pe- come on, come on, be nice, no matter what. It's like, no, what the fuck? Some shit is fucking weird. It's weird, bro. Like, if you put bitches' feet in your fucking mouth, you're a fucking simp, and you're fucking weird. I'm sorry. It's just fucking Damn. weird. Me because personally? you're, yo, listen, that's you're being dominated. You're being oh, that's dominated. why you don't like it? No, that's not why I don't like it. It's just that's why you shouldn't like it. I don't like it because it's fucking gross, and I don't like feet. I like tits and ass and face. That's what I. That's those happen to be my favorites. Tits to ass. Do like yo? I mean, I'm going feet number one. It's like nigga, no. Nah. What? There are that, people out OD. there like that though. That's od. But nigga, isn't it? Isn't it od to eat? Like who? Why? How? Why? How? Mm. Why? What? Wh- why? Okay, when you fetishize somebody over like a, f- a specific body part. Oh boy, here we go. It's gonna be <laughs> using buzzwords. My buzzwords. Yeah. When you f- you're fetishizing them, fetishizing. but go ahead. No, it's like okay. I think it's weird as fuck when it's like, um, when it's over like a specific, uh, like a, a, when it's specific fucking like sexual kink, whatever. Like if you're just with that person just a fucking for a sexual kink, it's like that's when well, it's weird as fuck. I mean, but it's like, yeah, uh, it doesn't matter. It's like yo, it's like it's, but I mean. It's just weird to say. It's weird for a guy. This is what I'm trying to say. Like, yo, I've like, talked to yo, listen. I've talked to female who said to me, "The dude is like, she's like, oh my god, he keeps texting me about it. I'm like, why? What's what's going on? He keeps asking me to send me pictures of my hands and my feet. Like, he wants pictures of your hands and your feet. <laughs> really? You're gonna jerk? Hands? You're gonna jerk hands? off to pictures of even or even if you're just gonna like, have them? Like, even if just have them in your phone, like to have them like whatever or like put it as her." Picture when she calls you, whatever you do with those pictures, whatever. You're you want a picture of her hands and her feet. Mm. Yo, there's another chick I know. She said like her her boyfriend fucking uh she he sucks on her toes and jacks off. <laughs> what is going on? What? <laughs> like even if like uh, yo, bro, even if you go on the internet and you go on porn, that shit be popping up. It's popular. That and incest shit. That shit, mommy, is, daddy, d- that, yo, the that mommy, shit daddy, is shit, weird. That shit is old. <laughs> That's weird. I do, yo. The but amount, bro, I'm the sorry. amount of times I've seen like, 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 what's those like, um, TikTok shits of like, the boyfriends getting caught, whatever. Yeah, what like, is that? Go- I, I don't know about this. No, like, okay, like the uh, on TikTok. It's not like a TikTok. But it's just like a fucking meme of shit. Okay, like the girlfriend will like, will, like, uh, she'll do like, oh, oh, you want um my tits or whatever? He's like, yes, mommy, and then like, he'll look up and shit. <gasps> That shit is so... And he was like, what the fuck? And he got mad as fuck. That shit is so fucking creepy. 
Like, what are you doing? Like, even, like, when they do, like, stepdaddy, stepdaughter, it's like, what is with all this familial shit? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what is going on? Yo, people are into some weird shit. Seriously. It's just, I don't know. But it's also just, I feel like it's just, dudes are just dudes, man. Men ain't men, man. It's just weird. I ain't sucking no bitch feet, bro. And it's not, it's, it, that's not the first, you know what's crazy? That's not even the top of my list. It's not the pride thing. The pride thing is not first. The pride thing is, the pride thing is second. The first thing is that it's fucking disgusting. That's what is gross. I, I, when I was a kid, I was like, I'll never eat a bitch ass. But at one point in my life, I licked a bitch ass. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but it's like, that, like, food, that feet Same. shit. Yeah. It's just, but it's like, yo, but I, now, I listen, but now, it's a thing where it's like, they, you, you gotta do it. And niggas have to have it. Like, it's bitches now just getting their ass eat out, eaten out, and that's it. Oh. It's like, what else happened? Oh, Nothing. Okay. Or, like, dudes would be like, or, like, dude, their first shit to a bitch would be like, damn, I want to just eat your ass. Like, that's the first thing you want to do? No. You want to no. go straight to her butthole? <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> so, like, so when you go to a restaurant, you're like, um, could I see your garbage, please? <laughs> do you have any trash by any hand? I'd like to go through your trash first. Oh, you don't want to eat this steak? No, I think I'll just go to the garbage, please. What the fuck are you talking about? <coughs> I'm going to be left behind. This I, is, yo, this I'm is not my keep, shit. Yo, I'm not trying to keep up with all this yo, shit. Yo, this is my shit. <coughs> That's too much. This is honestly my <coughs> shit. Like, but once you get into the whole shitting and pissing shit <laughs> and bodily fluids, <laughs> that shit is OD for me. Feet, ass, titties, whatever. You can do whatever the fuck, but yo, that the fucking radio, pissing, the pissing talk, shitting. Yo, he would talk about all that, that shit. Not, and talk about too much. And smelling bitches' armpits. And smelling bitches' farts. That's, like, that's gross what as fuck. What are you doing? You know what's crazy? I watched this shit on, um, on the fucking internet, and it was like about weird people in history or whatever. And it was talking about like how like, uh, I think it was talking about um, uh, Amadeus Mozart. They were saying that Mozart was like a fucking pervert. And, like, people think he's, like, this genius, and he was musically, but he was, in real life, he was just a pervert. And, like, he just had, like, juvenile humor. And he was just, like, you know what I mean? An asshole. And, like, yeah, <laughs> shit like that, literally. Have you ever seen the movie Amadeus? Nope. Watch the movie Amadeus, <laughs> and you'll see Mozart being a fucking big baby. And then this guy... Dun, 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 dun. And then this guy who takes himself super serious as, like, a, as a piano guy, he's just fucking pissed the whole movie. Because this nigga doesn't even try. He's just, like, a silly goofball but he's like a genius you know what i'm saying and this thing is like <clears throat> i went to this whatever this rectory in this school in this re reservatory wherever the fuck they go play music <laughs> and i went to this and it's like they're like yeah fuck that this guy is way more entertaining than you you know what i mean and then like there was this other guy who's like a famous writer i, I wish i could remember this shit i have a terrible memory when it comes to this shit but it was like a famous writer i think it was like the nigga who wrote fuck i can't remember but it was like some famous writer and even back in like 1910 He's talking about smelling the bitch's farts in his love letters to her. Oh, God. It's like, what the fuck? So then that makes you think, like, yeah, it goes back to the thing I always say that's, where it's like, it's, it's, people have always just been disgusting. Yeah. People's always just been gross. People have always just been that's fucking deplorable, degenerate <laughs> fucking pieces of shit human beings. Gross, <laughs> disgusting. Yo, just gross, grossos. Gross, just disgustos. Yo, word, yo, if you're out there sucking on toes, don't. Don't do that. Just stop. Tell that bitch to get her fucking foot out of your mouth, bro. <laughs> For real. Shit. If I'm getting if I'm getting pussy afterwards, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's that's a that's a real 19, 20 year old guy thing to say. <laughs> if I'm getting pussy, I don't care. <laughs> it's like, yeah, she's gonna fucking she's gonna punch you in the face when you get to the door first. <laughs> but I get the pussy. <laughs> oh, I don't care. <laughs> it's like what the I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I just want the pussy. Do I still get the pussy? Then I don't care. Yeah, you gotta drink this battery out of it. Does it come with pussy? Come with pussy. Then I don't care. I mean, yeah, when I was a kid, I'd walk for miles for pussy. I'd take two buses, three trains for pussy. Go all across the all across these great lands in search of pussy. I scoured the earth, dug deep into the soil to find the greatest pussy. And I think I found it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone you get to, you think it's better. <laughs> I want to make a medieval show. It's like a warrior. And it's like, you want to be like, did you come in search of the great, the great orb? No, I came in search of pussy. <laughs> show me where, where would a man find the best pussy? 
the path, pussy. The, the pussy. I am on the path for pussy. That'd be that'd be fire. Yeah, you'd steal that idea because it's dumb. Pee pee. He's looking for pussy. All right, way to ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cough it to the mic and I'll turn my mic up. <coughs> that was cool. That was <sighs> Yeah, this one is going to be way more boring than the last one. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. With but cuz I haven't I haven't been in a great mood. <laughs> I haven't been in a great mood either. <laughs> you want to know why? Life has been You want to know why? Life has been fucking crazy. <laughs> you want to know why? Why? Cuz you have a girlfriend now. <laughs> is that why? Is that why? Uh, Part of it? No. Mm. Just the other stuff? Uh, and I, I, but yeah, bro, it's just been a rough fucking week. Working a job, I, it's, it's the worst shit. I hate it. I fucking hate it. I loathe. I loathe working. But like when I go there, I do my shit. I do my job. I hate motherfuckers coming to, come to work and fucking drag. It's like, yo, just... Fucking work, you fucking mule. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but. <laughs> fucking work, you mule. <laughs> Damn. I should, I, should be, I should be in charge. <laughs> this should put me in charge somewhere. Get to work, you fucking mule. I'm like, wow, he really whipped him in shape over there. Oh, boy. So what were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking forgot now. <laughs> Yeah, I don't uh, like working. And you know what it is more than anything? I just don't like being around people that I don't know. Mm. I don't like it because I just don't. And it's like, especially people of a certain hue, they love to talk. It's like, leave me the fuck alone. Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. <laughs> just leave me alone. 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 Like, bruh. Just leave me alone. Like the job I do, I should just be able to sit there and watch stuff on my phone and do the other little thing that I'm assigned to do. But no, <laughs> someone has to come and ask me a stupid fucking question that I don't have about an answer technology? for. About technology specifically? No, not about technology. About administrative things that I have no... And I tell them to just above my pay grade. <laughs> no, seriously, I'll be telling them like, yo, I, I don't know. I, I don't get paid enough. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not, I, I, was like, I, I was like, you should speak to someone that's above me. Like, you know what I mean? When they ask me a question, like, you should speak to someone who's above me. Like, they're asking me about protocol with travel. And so if I was to leave the state tomorrow and go, nigga, I don't know. Go to HR, bitch. What the fuck is you asking me for? This fucking cashier shit is fucking, it, I retail? Would, I would never. Retail in I general. I have never. I have never. And I would never. I can't work retail. I can't do it. I, I, I'm not a people person. Even a little bit. Oh, I, I, I know I how to talk. I, don't like I know talking. how to talk to people. Like I know how to talk to people. Like you know, respectfully and you know, whatever. But like I, I just in, inside it's burning. Inside I'm burning. You're burning. Yeah, I'm just like don't be a shit. Like I just want to just leave me alone. But Isaac, he likes being a cashier. So anybody out there that's looking for a cashier? <laughs> Yo. Actually, I'm just going to press the stop key. Because Isaac likes being a cashier. I do not like being this shit. All right. This, so shit's, so. this shit sucks. It like, okay. It's just a job in general. It's it's whatever. R the whole point of retail, really, is just... And my boy said this shit. He was like, yo, you have to deal with everybody's shitty day. It's kind of what it comes I mean, down to. That's, I mean, technically, that's every job. <laughs> really. You know what I mean? Like, technically, that's every job where it's like... Oh uh, boy, looks like he's on the rag today. <laughs> That's a joke about a guy being on his period, even though guys don't have periods. <laughs> <laughs> periods. All right, all right, Beavis, go ahead. So what Beavis. else? <laughs> you know what they fucking... Just so much shit going on, whatever. There's not a lot of shit going on <laughs> while you doing retail. <laughs> Yo. All right, do you, you have, have to count the drawer at the end of the night? Though. Do you have to count the drawer at the end of the night? Yeah, we do. Well, the, yeah. It, do, they on, do, do they let you do it? Uh, no. <laughs> 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 Fuck no. It won't even let him touch the money. 
It's fucking crazy. Uh, but yo, well, but yo, I mean, but well, yo, the way that yo, it's just it's frustrating because the way they run it is they run at the bare minimum, the bare fucking minimum. One fucking person yeah. at the fucking register. Yeah. And like running back and forth, yeah. taking care of everybody. The whole yeah. one person at the front. Yeah, they're and running a business. Exactly. Yeah. But then, but then the, the funny thing is that when the customers complain that this store is not that great, it's this, whatever, I'm like, yo, you keep coming back. Why are you coming back and shopping here? Because they want to complain. Duh. Don't you know? Like, there are people, there is a woman right now, as we speak, what time is it? It's 11.15. Walmart's still open. There is a woman right now going to her local Walmart, and she's known, and she's going there right now to either go in there and not wear a mask, or to argue about a price, or to try to return something, because that's the only attention she gets all day. And that's what those people do. They come in there and they bitch and they moan and complain, because that's literally the only people that are, they. you're paid to listen to them, basically. You're mm-hmm. paid to not walk, you can't leave the building, right? You can't walk away from the register, right? So yeah, you're being paid to sit there and listen to that bullshit, because you legally can't leave, because have you abandoned your post shift Abandoned whatever the post. fuck yeah and then it's like you can't say something to them because then they'll complain and then you might get written up so you're getting paid to listen to their bullshit yeah exactly that's what i'm saying <laughs> that's why i hate working i don't know you motherfucker so when you come in here on your random random like what the fuck it's just it's yo i just don't like it i don't want to be around anyone that i don't know and i didn't choose to be around yeah i don't i ever. i don't feel that way i <laughs> Yeah, you're fucking, oh, you shit. fucking jolly ass nigga. You want to meet new people, make new friends. I don't give a fuck. I fucking hate all of you. Yo, you're gonna make friends <laughs> to everybody, motherfucker. You're gonna miss out on information. E- what do you? What information? <laughs> nigga, the internet exists. The fuck? I could get information myself. That's another problem. Niggas need to stop listening to these niggas. <laughs> stop listening to these niggas. You know, yo, my boy. He said, "Hey, my friend was telling me they're wrong. <laughs> they don't know what they're talking about. They saw that shit on the fucking internet." And they just repeated it to you. They parroted it. They didn't even. They didn't even. They didn't. Even, they didn't even take the time to run it through their own filter, and then be like, "This is what happened. But this is what I. You know what I mean? This is more probably what it is. It's more probably what it is. <sighs> but like, okay. I'm fucking upset. You're upset. I'm fucking mad. Oh man, fuck working. That's why I just want to do. I just want to do this. Okay, I just like making money. I like making money. But I know, but bro, first of all, it's like you're not even really. I mean, I get paid. T- I get paid twelve ten an hour. I would have never said that on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and like, <laughs> it's like it's like the minimum wage shit. And then people were like, "Oh wait, aren't you gonna get fifteen dollars?" I'm like, "Well, guess what? Once I get that fifteen dollars minimum wage, everything else is going up." So what the more, fuck? More than likely, yeah. yeah. The, the, mar- the market, every, uh, everything, fucking yeah, everything's gonna go up. Yeah. The price of things is gonna increase. And then, and then I'm like, so it, it, it is, it's, it's just gonna I mean, be an infinite loop. Day, it's just it's an infinite people, loop. But all these people are just gonna, c- they're just gonna fucking spend this money on consumer products anyway. Yeah. And so they it doesn't will. even matter. Like that's what that's what they do. It's a cash injection. It's just it's just on a mass scale. But the real issue is that a lot of these people. <coughs> They have these, it's like these um, fucking, you know, senators, fucking House representatives, fucking congressmen, congresswomen. They have friends who are the people who sign those checks. You know what I mean? The people who have to, who have to now take a mandated. I don't, I don't know if it would be a federal. Or it would have to, yeah, it would have to be a federal thing. Federal pay raise. That everyone has to be paid a minimum, a, a federal minimum wage. Every business then that means that their friends, the rich people that they know, yeah. would have to sit there and, like, you know what I mean? Pay people $15 an hour. Yeah. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's just going to it's gonna be like it was at Amazon. Where everybody was like, hey, did you hear Amazon is starting people out $15 an hour? Hey, did you hear that Amazon is treating people like slaves? I know. <laughs> yo, every, every, yo, there was this one customer I asked. I was like, I was like she had, like, an Amazon shit, whatever. Yeah. And actually, I was like, wait. I was like, is it, like, a sweatshop? <laughs> and whatever. She was like, I'm just the, the driver. I, I don't know. No, what, what I heard was, like, people were saying how, like, they had them doing, like, you'd have to take a product, right? A product comes through, it gets ordered. You take it, and then you have to run it down to whatever the little bay is that you put it in, in the little thing where it rolls through into the section of the stuff that's going to that part of the country in the Amazon, or that part of the town in the Amazon vans or the Amazon trucks. Because the, tru- the Amazon trucks take the things that come from that place to somewhere else, so then they can, you know, be taken out by the vans to be delivered to houses. You know what I'm saying? 
So it's like they would have to be running the products back and forth between the building, but the building is like as big as like two football fields. And then you have like a time, like they're timed. But I mean, they used to do, when I used to do an old, sec- it's an old security job I had where they would time me on rounds. Like how long it took me to do my rounds throughout the building, check yes. everything in the building. They're like, yo, you got to get your times down. Like it's taking you an hour and two minutes to do. But it's like, bro, I was doing 14 floors, three buildings. It's like, I'm not about to run this shit. I'm not about to do a speed run. It's not a video what? game, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? The fuck are you like? The shit sucks. Fourteen floors in three buildings. Yeah, they want to. They want time. Fourteen floors in in three buildings. Three buildings that had at least fourteen floors. Some of them had a couple more. Sixteen, whatever fl- flights. So I have to take the elevator down to one floor, walk the whole floor, check all the different shit. Did it? Check this. Check that. Did it? Put down whatever the number was for something, or whatever, like the whatever. Then go down floor, check that floor, whatever, whatever. Check that floor. Go all the way down. Three buildings and a daycare center. Because it was like a fucking huge campus for like this medical company. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they had a, the daycare too. And it's at night. You know what I'm saying? There's nobody here or nothing. But it's like, right, bro, right, like, right, come right. on, man. They be like, yo, you got to get your times down. Take you an hour. I'm like, nigga, I'm not about to run through this shit. Take Temple Run? What the f- Yeah, right? I'm not about to fucking. Take Temple Mario, nigga. <laughs> and it, yo, it's like literally because you had the little thing. You had to like click the little button in each little section to like. Prove that you, like you know what I mean. Prove that you checked yeah, that section. Yeah, checked it. Yeah, like you know what I mean. It's like verification shit. It's like, bro, no, fuck that. I'm not playing fucking Legend of the Hidden Temple in this bitch and jumping over fucking uh, cubicles to fucking get my time down. Fuck you. No. <laughs> and the guy who was my uh, fucking supervisor, his, his last name was Champagne. <laughs> Champagne. <laughs> Andy Champagne. That's a weird name. Andy Champagne. He, he did not. That sounds like a pimp's name, and he was just like a fat, oh bald, white guy. <laughs> 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 he like fucking, he like brought, he used to bring like those fucking like Lunchables to work, but he was like a 45 year old man. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? I, was like, I don't, I was like, why like, do you bring those? He was like, well, my wife just buys a bunch of them for the kids. And rather than also spend money on buying stuff for me to bring to lunch, I just take one of the Lunchables. I was like, so your wife hands one to the son, one to the daughter, one to your big ass? <laughs> She's like, you forgot your gun. You forgot your gun. <laughs> oh, but you didn't forget your Lunchables. No, you know she didn't. I could forget the Lunchables. That shit was fucking... That was fucking hilarious. That guy, And then there was the other guy, the, the black guy who used to fucking... Uh, control room like he could literally talk to you through the cameras that were in the building and shit mm-hmm. and he would just like randomly like be like oh they gonna want you to go down and check three I'm like what the fuck where the fuck did that come from yo the manager okay like the whole fucking people the whole like the, the way the shit works at my job and shit like the three managers are cool as fuck we got like a new manager and shit but nobody gives a fuck about anybody <laughs> like what do you mean like what they do no, no, I mean, like, oh, okay. Okay, like everybody's chill as fuck, whatever. Everybody's chill as shit, but. I mean, the, oh, listen, listen, where you work. I didn't mean to, like, say it like that. No, no, I where mean, you work, the only thing that you could literally do. No, I mean, like, nobody gives a fuck about the customers. The shit. only thing you could do. Exactly. The, uh, look where you work. Like, okay, I try to be, I try to be cool as fuck with the customers and shit. Put it like this. He went to retail. I, it's not a grocery store. <laughs> This shit is annoying. The customers are annoying as fuck. Yeah, of course they are. What are you talking about? But, no, because, like, okay, they get upset when, like, when shit doesn't go, obviously they don't go their way and shit, but. What doesn't go their way? Okay, the, um. Stuff there is fucking under $5. <laughs> what the fuck could not go the their fucking way? Equip- Yo, my nigga, the equipment is fucking dumb as shit. This should be fucking up and shit. And for some reason, like, it it wasn't it wasn't operating. Damn, it's something it wrong with the system. <laughs> System down. Shit fucking crashes. Hey, y'all. The system too down. Slow. Sorry, you can't get those M&Ms. The system down. What you want? You wanted them Twizzlers? Shit, you better put them shit back because the system down. System back. <laughs> you better, you better, shit, you better get on the bus and go home because shit, guess what? System down. Yo, so, I mean, they got a shitty system. Why would they upgrade it, though? Who cares? Like, they sell shit that's under $5. I understand that. But yo, when the customers, <laughs> I yo, the, you're, the, the shit that you're saying, I, I've been on this shit, but the customers get upset, and I'm like, yo. Yeah, they get upset because, like I said, it's the only time anyone listens to them. It, all right, just in your head, in your in your head, in your head, just imagine these people that you're talking about that come in here every day. Just look at them in your mind. I do. Just look at them. Do, do they look like anyone listens to them? 
Except for their kids. That's it. <laughs> and I feel bad for them. I feel bad for their children. Their children have to listen to this idiot who drags them to the store every day to complain about what? Just give me an example of something they've complained about. They're like, oh, why is only one person working at this fucking shit, whatever? Do you? Is and your I'm name? Like, is your name fucking Donald Dollar? Huh? Donald Dollar. <laughs> Is your name fucking Frank Five Below? No. So who are you to tell me what the fuck, how the fuck this business should be ran? I'm like, I'm they, like they, now they, can they I always say we? There, there needs to be more than one person, whatever. And Why I'm like, do you? You don't. You don't own this business. You don't. Who the fuck are you to say how many registers should be open? That, yo, don't get me wrong. If I go to a certain place, right? If I go to if I go to a certain like fucking place. If I go to fucking Stop and Shop, Walmart, ShopRite, some shit, grocery store, yeah, uh, yeah, and there's yeah. only one register open, then I'm going to be like, what the fuck is going on here? You know what I mean? Am I going to go to the back and try to find someone? No, I'm just going to fucking semi-quietly bitch to myself while I <laughs> wait for the line to slowly move forward. I'm not going to find nobody. I could care less. Like I'm They always do that. And it's it's like, an inconvenience, but it's like, bruh. Especially now, because it's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like it's like okay, you man, I gotta be to work, motherfucker. You came to go shopping bro, before you go to work. Bro, okay, so, okay, so okay, at my store we have no bags. Cart- okay, at my store we have like no bags right now, right? Like mm-hmm. plastic bags and shit. Why? Because you ran out? No, just like the fucking uh, the uh, people who deliver the bags and shit having came. Yeah, or like they, no, um, like they put it in the truck with like our shipment, whatever. Yeah, it, it hasn't I, been. I, it has I, no, yo, ba- I think no bags. Your job might be a, a drug front. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. Yo, there has been like no bags for like two, three months now. Or so, so people keep shit. bitching about bags. Yeah. Why don't you just tell them that we you can't get bags out anymore because of the environment? You just lie. But of course they're gonna be like, "Well, stop shop, we got bags and shit." I'm like, "Okay, yeah, you gotta pay extra." They always have to, Yo, I always you know tell what them you do. You should just go get your own bags and bring them and tell them that it's just a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, and they get killed by the police when somebody <laughs> tell on you. <laughs> They gonna come and snap you back. <laughs> wow, police brutality my shit. Yeah, we're, sell, we're selling bags. Yes, they killed that dude for selling cigarettes. You selling illegal bags? They killed the other guy last you're year selling, for his are you're in here selling illegal bags. That's illegal a bags. death sentence. Judge Dredd, as I am the law. <laughs> That's what all these cops think they are. They think they're Judge Dredd. Who's Judge Dredd? You never seen Judge Dredd? Please enlighten oh, me. Oh, enlighten yo, me. This guy's Please. never seen fucking Judge Dredd. If you're out there, you've never seen fucking okay, Dredd, the recent one that came out with Carl Urban, that shit was that shit was good. Like it, it was it was good action wise. The original with Stallone was it was nineties bullshit, but good nineties bullshit. Basically, Judge Dredd is a comic book character where it's like a um, dystopian future or whatever, and it's this city called Mega City, where basically, you know, everything's overpopulated. People live in, like, super, like, uh, you know, like, skyscrapers? Mm-hmm. And, like, uh, imagine if a skyscraper was a project building. Like, imagine if the Empire State Building had projects in it. That'd like, be that's, you know what I mean? Like, that's Mega City. And then, like, oh, like fucking play, uh, Ready Player One shit. Uh, I, I guess. I don't, I don't like really that. remember a lot about that movie with oh. Gerard Butler. <laughs> Oh, he played a video movie. game character. Oh no, Ready Player One was the shit with the the Steven Spielberg shit, right? I think so. It yeah, was like, where it was like all the pop culture. Yeah. Oh, that shit was so gay. Are you like I fucks with it? No, I, that shit was that's just shit I'm talking about. <laughs> fucking raping nostalgia. Stop. Hey, that was cool. hey, hey! Look, it's Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Shiz, that's the dinosaur yes, from Jurassic yeah. Park. There's literally, a, there's like, yo, there's like a race. Guess what? Car uses the DeLorean. <laughs> He's going 88 miles per hour. Shut the fuck up. Let, yo, if you like Back to the Future, just go watch Back to the Future. Watch part one, watch part two, and stop there. Don't watch part three. <laughs> I never watched part three. Yeah, it's not good. I've never seen it's it. It's in the old west. I Same with Godfather know. three. I've never seen it. Godfather three is worth a watch just because it's like it's terrible, but it's still like good bad. It's bad good. Mm. Like it's bad good good bad whatever. But fucking yeah, yeah that Ready Player know. One shit. That shit was so like I I enjoyed it. Ugh. I enjoyed it. And you know what? That's crazy. That guy he has predicted the future. That guy who wrote that book. That uh, that author he predicted the future because that's literally what it's gonna be like. It's gonna be a bunch of fucking nostalgia fucking monkeys <laughs> running around playing the game where you get you can be anyone. You can be Mega Man. You can be <laughs> Sonic. You can be anybody. 
You could be all the characters. Yo, this dude at my job is like, a, a, like he's like obsessed with Resident Evil. I'm like, yo, you are so autistic. I've never played Resident Evil. I, he's that so shit doesn't interest me. about it. Yo, then this motherfucker goes, I go, he's like, he's like, yeah, one day there probably will be a zombie apocalypse, and that'll be the best day of my life. I was like, because you, you, you play a dumbass video game? <laughs> he said, yo, right? Listen, I go, I go, why would that be? Why? It's what I've been preparing for my whole life. He said, I have, I have pistols, AR-15s, I have nigga, bow, I have bow and no. arrows, like, I bow and arrows, like Daryl from Walking Dead, I have... I was, he's like, this I is not Z Nation, yo. Listen, he goes. I go. Well, Rex, I said you've you've watched a lot of these uh, zombie movies, correct? You watched a lot of them. Has he? I've seen all. Gun? I've seen all of them. I love George Romero. I said, well, that's good. The zombies are real. He'll come back because he's dead as fuck. But I was like, <laughs> I was like, okay. I was like, so Boom. I was like, was I was like, one. I was like, most zombie movies. You know how like at first everything's calm. And then, like, the first attack happens. Like, somebody turns around and like, hey, good morning, Jim. Are you okay? What's wrong? I'm like, what if that's you? What if you're the first person to die in this shit? Exactly. That wouldn't happen. Nigga, shut the (laughs) fuck up. How do you know this shit? How do you fucking know this shit? He confidently. He confidently. He confidently. He confidently looked at me and said, that will never happen. That will never happen. Yo, I used to, okay, I used to be Listen, like that when I was finish, five. Finish forget, I used to finish where I forget. So then the second example I give, I said, okay. I said, you say like George Romero. Like, I said, have you ever seen Dawn of the Dead? Yeah, of course you've seen Dawn of the Dead. So you saw the remake? Yeah, that one was great. Blah, blah, blah. All this bullshit. I'm like, all right, cool. I, I was like, now in that movie, the person wakes up, and there's, because he has a son and a wife. I said, and his daughter and his wife are already changed. They're already turned. He said, okay. he said, I've already talked to my family about this. If they get turned. I talked to my family about if this. They, if they get turned, it's fucking double tap. It's fucking Thanksgiving and they're just Listen. discussing this shit over <laughs> Toby. So, mom, dad, how would you, how would you, how would you survive this zombie apocalypse? <laughs> he said, I already told my wife, if they, if her, her and my son turn to zombies. Ethan. Listen, he said. Ethan, shut the fuck up. He said, he said, he said, it's double tap. It's double tap? Yeah, to the head, double tap. Fucking this nigga is talking casually man? about killing his wife and his child when they quote unquote turn? when they air quotes turn into zombies. How the fuck do you like? <laughs> okay, I used to think like that. Okay, I, okay, I used to think dumb shit like that when I was like eight or some shit. But this is a thirty-five year old man. That's fucking sad. He's that's autistic sad. as shit. All he ever talks about is fucking old shit and like shitty like that's like oh, he's nostalgia autistic. monkey. I, I, I'm not, obviously he's not, I mean, you know, whatever. I mean, he's not obviously not autistic. I'm just saying autistic in the sense that, like, you know, like, some of these new people, like, since since Gen Z and on, Gen Z to millennials to fucking, I mean, I'm not Gen Z, fucking from Gen X to Gen Z, millennials in the middle, all these motherfuckers are coming out weird. They're weird. They have autistic tics in the sense that they're so focused and zoned in on one particular thing. You know what I mean? Like, they love something so hard. It's like yeah. I don't love anything that hard. I don't. I'm not gonna get a tattoo of Resident Evil. He's he has a tattoo of Resident Evil, <laughs> and he wants more tattoos of Resident Evil. Tattoos of a video game. It's, it's like, bro. Okay. That's, it's like, but it's like, dude, you're obsessed with this shit. And it's uh-oh. like there are YouTubers like that too where I watch them. Just like, dude, shut the fuck up. Stop talking about Mega Man from 1996. <laughs> Stop. Yo, this is one dude he does reviews of, like, <coughs> comic books, right? I've seen, like, all, all those fucking review channels. The, he, the, the the toys and shit? Yeah. That shit's a big fucking market. It is. I mean, uh, yo, figures, I... Unboxing. You know, I, I'm biased. Unboxing. I, and I'm biased. I'm Unboxing. Biased. I'm biased. I'm biased. Like, figures, like, you know, like, like, like if you was to get, like, a, like a fucking one of those, like, $300 fucking Spawn statues or some shit, or okay. Wolverine statue, That's cool. I'm biased towards that. But it's still gay. It's still fucking hella dorky and dweeby as shit. I would, I would, yo, I have looked up shit like that on my phone and then been like, I'm not buying this shit. <laughs> I'm not, hey, I'm not buying this shit. Yo. Like, nigga, come yo, on, F- Yo, the FY, the FYE store, ah, that, that shit. Yo, you are a fucking yo. redneck. <laughs> Yo, yo, that's the stuff that they put in there for people who don't know any better. Something that you could get off the internet yo, for like fifty dollars and they WWE mark it up. Bootios in that shit, remember? Oh yeah, I had a, I had a box of those. I had a box of those. You had a box of bootios. Yeah, that they're yo. Just to let you know, just to give context, 
there's these wrestlers in the WWE called the New Day, and they had their own cereal. Yeah. So I bought it. Candy and they're bars? and they're the only black the kid, the, uh, and they're the only black wrestlers in WWE that have any real success in the last like what I don't know thirty fucking years. So I thought I'd support them. But yeah, good. the New Day. That's good. Their 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 gimmick literally was just they're metrosexuals. And it got over. Yeah, but their gimmick was pretty much that they were just like on joke time all the time. Just gay. Funny. Just they were pretty much just gay. gay. <laughs> It's so sad. Like, why? Yo, I know no one. I know. I, uh, wrestling, this is what I'll say about WWF and WWE. What I, I mean, I said WWF. About WWE and wrestling is that they have never, almost never, ju- other than the Nation of Domination, they have never let a black guy just be a mean asshole and get over. Mm-hmm. Ever. They As of right now, it's fucking Bobby Lashley. And he's. But it's like. And he's oh. he's mean looking. He's a fucking heel, or yeah, he's a heel. But like, that's he what I'm trying to say. Shit. All right, I'm talking about like how Stone Cold was an anti-hero. Okay, yeah. They yeah. never let the black guy ever play that role ever in WWE ever. They never let the black guy just be serious. Motherfucker always gotta be cheesing and smiling and shit. I hate that shit. It's fucking annoying. Like I see what you're talking. Like MVP basically tried to bring. That shit that he probably brought that idea to them because MVP has always been trying to push that actually because when he was in fucking even when he was in um TNA and they had that corny ass shit fucking what was that shit called the something I forget what the fuck that shit was called <laughs> but they was like kind of like trying to be militant you know what I mean but they okay. was getting over you know what I mean because it like it it, it was kind of like before the shit got so personal with people fucking you know what I mean racial shit you know what I'm saying but he was like playing with it the best shit ever was fucking New Jack. New Jack. When New Jack fucking said, I think it was, they were in like Nashville or Memphis in like the, it was like the 90s or the 80s. And he was like, he was like, he was like, shout out to OJ. That's two less of these motherfuckers we got to worry about. <laughs> Yo, New Jack's fucking Instagram has been blowing up. That's he, fire. Dude, well, probably because. Did, did he name? follow you? Didn't he follow you or some shit? Yeah. That's I th- fire. I think it's because, I think it's because most people from that dark side of the ring. Yeah, that was the first time a lot of them ever heard about New Jack. A lot of people never, especially like newer wrestling fans, like people who are people who came into wrestling off of the off of like the like Ring of Honor role and stuff like that, and like off of like you know even like people who are into yeah like those kind of people they kind of didn't. I don't think they some of them knew about New Jack. I mean, but then again, some of them probably did. They just didn't know the extent. They just knew. Oh, I remember that guy. He used to like stab people with forks and fucking yeah. Oh my god, he almost uh, killed someone. <laughs> Yo, Gypsy Joe. Uh, Yo, that motherfucker was crazy. He pushed him like didn't he he, he tried to throw him over the ring? Out of the ring? He threw he tried to throw him oh. out of the ring. Cause like basically it was having like a steeple a steep a steeple match or whatever, like you're up on like this fucking rafter. He tried to like push him like forward. Yeah, and like, then the, 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 the ring is full of tables. And then you basically try to push them off of that into in through all the tables that have barbed wire and all this other crazy dumb deathmatch shit they used to have. And basically, this nigga Vic Grimes years ago had botched the shit and like gave him like almost gave him brain damage. So he tried to throw Vic Grimes past all the tables and out of the ring to the cement floor. He tried to kill him. Yeah, he tried to kill him on purpose. And Vic Grimes basically was lucky enough to have hit the ropes, ropes and bounce little, back. And, yeah, and bounce back like into the ring a little bit. But that shit, yo. And then he beat the shit out of he beat Gypsy Joe. He beat the shit out of Gypsy Joe. Like literally, just like, I don't know what happened. He just snapped. But like yeah, new no, Jack. That was the mass. Mas- I wish. Transition. I wish. That way, that's the main. St- uh, that's mass- a whole different. Yeah, mass transition is a whole different incident. That's another incident where you. I remember that. Shit. Stabbed the shit I, out of somebody. I, I, I said I remember that shit. Like I fucking was there. Yo, but I know of it. But fucking that shit was. F- that nigga New Jack. He, he like I wish I could have seen him in WWE. That's that that would be cool. Wanted. That would be him and the Hardy Boys. All I would have wanted. Well, I know he wouldn't have made Jumping it far in that shit. Yeah, but. I know, but I know that he at least would have had some stories, and he would have punked somebody, and he probably would have like stabbed Triple H or something. <laughs> <laughs> Triple H was supposed to be the one that was actually trying to help him get into. Actually, uh, damn, I would have to look that shit. Up. Look that shit up. Look up New Jack on YouTube. Look up New Jack Triple H New on Jack. YouTube right quick, because I think. Either he said that Triple H tried to help him get into WWE, or Triple H basically like, basically like blocked him. <coughs> I think Vince. I think he said that Vince liked him, and then Triple H basically went to him like, Dad. New Jack and Triple H. Triple H probably calls Vince Dad. He's like, Dad, this guy, you don't want to hire him. He's a fucking the, psycho. Shoot on Vince. 
Uh, I guess. Yeah. So maybe it was Vince who didn't want him. Oh. It was somebody who didn't want this man. One of them two was like, they say he was fucking crazy. I would have just liked to see him be in that shit and just, especially like when they had like the hard, like the 24-7 hardcore title and shit. Yeah. That shit would have been cool. Yo, the 24-7 title is fucking, it, it's. Now it's corny. Yeah. It's corny now. It's on, it, it was on Bad Bunny and then Bad Bunny literally was like, he gave it to our oh, truth He literally passed it to our truth It was like, he just said, was like, Bad Thicket. Bunny, the ragatone guy. The ragatone. That's what I call it. I call it ragatone. I call reggae music raga too. I'm like, let's fucking listen to that fucking raga music. I do cheap. not like reggae. I hate it. I hate I hate it. I hate reggae. I hate calypso. I hate uh yeah. uh fucking what's the other shit that they have? Uh Danta jumping what I hate all that shit. I'm I'm actually part West Indian and I hate that shit. Yeah. I grew up around that music. And I Why? fucking hate it. Why? Why? What, what, what do you? Oh, because like my grandparent, my grandfather and his friends and shit, they used to listen to that sh- that dumbass music. <laughs> <laughs> I get, to, yeah. get together now. Fuck out of here. Get out of here with this shit. Like, okay, I, I have to be in the mood to listen to that shit. Any, uh, any foreign, there's any no way foreign I music. Ever, I don't want to hear any anything where they're not speaking English. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I don't give a fuck. I listen to this mad fucking Spanish music. Uh, and you, and you, even though you're half Puerto Rican, you can't speak Spanish, right? I'm learning now. Spanish right yeah, now. So yeah, you're not good at it. But um, this, like, okay, like, how people now listen to, like, K-pop, I don't understand well, how. I don't, like, like, okay, I get that, like, sometimes it, like, I get that there's things that can sound good on, on a record that you don't necessarily need to understand what they're saying. Especially now, like, you had a whole deep, 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 deep little, like, dip into mumble rap. Well, yeah. motherfuckers was like really getting into like you really can't tell what I'm saying. The nice style. Like, but like you know what I mean? Getting really deep. That's like, fucking lifestyle. But shit. that's the, well, Young Thug is basically the main proprietor of that where like people say he like another instrument on the song. Basically, he's like <laughs> he like a, uh, really? the, the shade, like another instrument. He's like, like another instrument. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm, some people are really fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like okay. If if I were to give you more credit than you deserve and act like you know what you mean, I could see where you're coming from. Like where vocal is actually just yeah. vocal. The vocal is just another instrument in yeah. the you know what I mean in the yeah. ensemble in the composition of a song. But it's like no, <laughs> no. But I mean, yeah, I mean, but at the same like time, so I understand that. I understand that there's some of that shit that sounds good just because it sounds fucking yeah. good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't help something that sounds good. You know what I'm saying? But like with that K-pop shit, it's like to hear like. Yo, these fans go fucking belligerent. Yo, and yo, you know what's crazy? They, I saw this Vice News thing where they were doing this thing of talking to these girls in America about these K-pop dudes. And, and, and in a roundabout way, actually kind of direct, the girls basically admitted that they like the guys because they're sexually non-threatening. Because they're Asian. Isn't that low-key racist? <laughs> I think that's, it might be a high key. It's fucking racist. <laughs> but it's just, yo, it lets you know, like, what is going on where a woman is like, like, okay, because the girl said that the girl, she's older. She's probably in her 30s, early 40s. And she came up on, like, probably Backstreet Boys and all that kind of shit. So she said, like, basically her generation, they wanted to fuck those dudes. Like, okay, you know what I mean? Okay. Like, those girls, they wanted to fuck in sync. If you, if they wanted to fuck Justin Timberlake, if you let one of those fourteen-year-old girls in his fucking, in, in his, in his fucking, yo. in his fucking uh, dressing room, the, yo, the he would have got raped. He would have got raped. No, but the no. BTS fans, like I've heard so many stories about that shit. But that's what I'm saying. It's like it's so weird that I mean, I'm not saying that everyone of them feels that way. You probably have some girls who want to fuck those little Asian guys. But all I'm saying is just it's just crazy that it was a room full of women who literally said, "Look it up, fucking Vice, K-pop, whatever the fuck." I'm talking about the people out there. Look that shit up. Also, look up all the K-pop scandals. Like, these motherfuckers be into, like, wild-ass shit. And, like, supposedly, like, a lot of them K-pop groups have signed, like, lifetime contracts. And, like, they're basically slaves. And, like, it's, it's pretty what? interesting. Huh? K-pop what? K-pop scandals. Like, basically, like, one of the K-pop dudes, he was, like, uh, fucking bitches drunk. Like, I, I guess getting them, like, fucked up on pills and shit. You know what I mean? Like, basically, Cosby and bitches, uh, like, fucking taking... Some kind of pervert. I don't know what it is with like Asian culture and like burning sun scandal. I guess it's Vice. Is it Vice News? Oh shit! 
I know. I just put Yo, this K-pop nigga scandal. sucks. At, I just put yo, fucking K-pop. He scandal. fucking sucks at YouTube searches. How do you suck at YouTube searches? Inside the bullying scandal, canceling South Korean celebrity. I'm just gonna go to it on my phone. Bluetooth. Yeah, Investigators by Vice. Keep up. Yeah, don't worry about it, Isaac. I'm just gonna go to it on my phone, Isaac. Don't worry about it, okay? Wow. Yeah, Isaac, don't even worry about it. I'm just gonna go to it on my shit. All right. This fucking guy. K-pop stands distra. I don't even want to know what that is. I don't. K-pop best songs. All right, BTS. This shit has nine ninety nine hundred and fifty eight million views. <laughs> Yo, those fucking K-pop 1. videos. One point two billion. Yo, those K-pop videos were blowing up like over twenty four hours. Yeah, like billions this of views in what twenty four hours or some shit. Fuck. I think uh, one of them, one of the bands, holds like the world record for like the uh, the highest views in like twenty four hours on YouTube or some shit. <sighs> I, think it's, I think it's BTS. The world's most controversial K- K-pop group. Why? Because there are white people in it. There are white people in this K-pop group. Oh yeah, I heard about that. I saw that. I saw that. Heard about this? Yeah, I watched that Vice shit. That shit was funny as fuck. Where are they from? Australia? No, they're from America. The first time you watch, and they do K-pop. They speak Korean. They sing Korean. So wait, 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 hold on. Just watch it. You're telling me, yes, four white American white men learn to speak next to fluent Korean just so they could sing songs. So they can be K-pop stars. Uh, look it up. We'll watch it. Just watch it. Immediately thought, I have to do this. I have to be a part of this K-pop. If you guys wouldn't mind introducing yourself. Let's do our popping stuff. 하나, 둘, 셋. 안녕하세요. EXP edition. They did their anime intro. Guys, I'm going to add that. Hey, hey, that's it. Listen to these. To it. Listen to these fucking. Singing. Dance, Dragon Ball Z characters. Acting, fashion. Yeah. Immediately thought. We a whitewash. The name of their group should be whitewash. And this, like I the fucking the, the fans are critiquing them on their performance while they're fucking yo. What on their phones? No, no, they're like they're critiquing them. Like they're telling them, oh, you pronounce that they uh, giving them pointers and shit. Oh, the Korean fans are telling them how to speak Korean better? Yeah, and like giving pointers and shit, how to like uh, help them out. Do they eat the barbecue? <laughs> yeah. Just fucking watch it. Hold on, hold on. I just want to hear this shit. Uh, let's do our popping stuff. Hold on, dude. Set. I need to know. EXP edition, nigga. It's like they said, EXP edition, nigga. Yo, this is sad. Oh, oh, so they live in Korea. Yeah. Oh, so they basically, they're doing, it, it's, so it's like a foreign exchange program. Yeah, so we've got some Korean nigga here that's doing some shit, and then they, got okay, I got it. No, seriously, though, it's crazy that, there are people. There are people who are going over because, like, you know, they have like K-pop schools now over there. I did not. Why? Well, yeah, I, I where thought they teach just... you how to sing and dance, and then they get you into the auditions to, to audition to be in K-pop groups. These th- these four guys probably went to K-pop school. It's like, Dad, I have a full ride to K-pop University. I'm gonna learn to speak Korean and dance gay. <laughs> and wear and wear pink sweaters that are way too big for me. You don't understand. You just wouldn't get it. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Of K-pop. But they can't it. because they're white. They can't because they're American. Oh, it, yo, you know what's funny? And what? I just, it said kimchi. And kimchi? then, it, and then, yes. And then in parentheses, it said cheese. Yeah. So in Korea, that's how they say cheese. They say kimchi. <laughs> so how am I racist? They're the ones saying it. Kimchi. Kimchi. Kimchi's. No, but um, there was this girl in my, um, when I used to go to high school with. She did like a whole fucking project on like the on the K-pop. Whole, yeah, she, they let her do that in school. They didn't. They didn't expel her. I'm like, no. yo, get the fuck out of here. This shit is about learning, you dumb no, bitch. But, no, but it was like the dark side of the K-pop and shit. They talked about. The so what? What, what? 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 What class was this for? Journalism class? Fucking no. Oh, film class. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was about to lose it. <laughs> I thought she did like English, you know, like those kind of kids. Uh, okay. Where it's like, a social well, why don't you topic? do a project about, yeah, and it's like, a social this issues. is the dark side. It's like, bitch, you just watched a Vice video and then came in. I mean, I'm doing the same thing, but fuck it. I'm not, tra- I'm not turning, I'm not turning this shit in. I'm not looking to go to a college off this. I don't actually, 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 people. if any college out there wants to give me a fucking scholarship, <laughs> a podcast scholarship, I'm there, bro. Arizona, Arizona State University podcast major. 
My K-pop. Isn't K-pop Korean? Korean? Isn't K-pop Korean? All right, the black girl goes... With, with a scrunched up face, confused, she goes, isn't K-pop Korean? And the Asian guy goes, with a very stern face, Korean? He was like, yes. Yes, fellow person of color. They're, yeah, they their group should be called whitewashed. They're just whitewashing K-pop. But can I tell you something right now? You talk about fetishiz- fetishizing and fetishization and all that kind of shit. Asian people fetishize the shit out of white people. I've heard about that. Yeah, yeah. so it's like, they're probably popular over there because of that. They're a novelty. They're popular because they're the white group. They're the group that the Asian girls really like. <laughs> not, the, not the Asian boy group that looks exactly like them. <laughs> Yo, it's so interesting. Like, <laughs> with, I, you know what I think it is? On Spurs Trip, it's like, yo, it's either Hispanics, yeah, it's Hispanics and uh, Asians who go to white people. What the fuck? What do you mean? Oh, like they, they yeah, fetishize they white people? Yeah. Especially Mexican dudes. Mexican dudes, their dream is to have a blonde, white, big titted bitch. Yo, I was that's the Uber. that's their American dream. I was an Uber. That's a lot of that's a lot of foreigners' American dream. Bro, I took the Uber. Big titted white blonde bitch. I took an Uber to and the fucking uh, the driver, he was from Brazil. Yeah. And he was like, um we were like conversing. He's from the land of bundles, but go ahead. Uh, <laughs> he was like he was asking me, he was like, where can I find a big titty white woman, American white woman. Yeah. I was like. Because you want to know what that is? <laughs> That's a trophy. He sends that picture back to his homeland. They're like, he made it. Yeah. He got a big titty white blonde bitch. What is her name? Bombshell. What is What is her name? Tiffany? Brittany? Please tell me she has a white name. Tell me her white name. Is it Susan? <laughs> is it Susan? <laughs> is it Susan Sarandon? Karen? <laughs> Karen? Is it Karen? I have heard much about these Karens. I want to fuck a Karen. I would like to fuck a Karen. Is it Sarah? Yo, that's another thing. Yo, stop watching fucking so much MILF porn. Yo, you niggas are weird. Korean pop music is fucking bullshit. And you were telling me... Oh, this black girl wearing big ass glasses. (laughs) Let me see. Look at this bitch's face. It's like a goddamn cartoon character. Korean. Korean? White dudes trying to break into Korean pop music is fucking bullshit. And you were telling me yeah. you guys right. got this is some fucking weebo ass black bitch <laughs> fucking mad as fuck because she's way like why are you even into K pop bitch go listen to some Chris Brown listen to some Chris go listen to some Chris Brown what bitch whatever happened these bitches over here listening to Korean bar- Korean niggas whatever happened to Bobby Brown. Whatever happened to Bobby Walmack, bitch? You listen to Korean niggas? This is just some black guy right now going to his daughter's room. Like, <laughs> what the fuck is this you listen to? It's Peter Basuto da Kaya by BTS. What the fuck is this Ching Chong shit you in here listening to? Like, they're, it, they? they're Korean. They're what they by Bad Bunny and Hold up. all the Spanish motherfuckers. Hold up. You here listen to fucking Korean music? This bitch, I, I fought Korea. I fought Korea. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay. How did they react when it's uh, when the Spanish music? Was that Rickett's own shit? Oh, they don't care. They start doing a little bachata. Oh, this, <laughs> this is my shit. I don't mind this. Them bitches bad. <laughs> Them women fine. It's fucked up. <laughs> what? Them bitches are fine. Them bitches fine. Them bitches shit. fine. Shit, this one lady in my job, Miss Gonzalez. What's going on? Yeah, it's fat as shit. I said, come here, Miss Gonzalez. Yeah. 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 If people are reacting this strongly, then maybe this is something more than... I wish I could spread oil on their bodies and throw a lighter on them. Someone what? burned them alive. I never wanted to commit arson as bad as now. Damn, it's very... Why does we want to burn these fucking white... These white washers alive? Why don't we want to burn them alive? Just because they're Be- doing Korean-style... Yeah. Korean-style pop music. Because, well, obviously, like, white people have, like, a fucking... A history of... They fucking took your fucking rock music and shit and yeah, remixed that shit. I don't know. So, I can have that shit. Rock a little salsa. <laughs> <laughs> I like some rock music. Dairy green. But anyway, yeah, I, I mean, I just don't see the big deal. I mean, just take it as a fucking laughable novelty. At the same time, it's, I mean, I, they're taking it personal because they're on this like whole wave of like, and you're, you could sit there and tell them, well, there's a market for it. You know what I mean? Because I said, like, you know what I mean? The fetishization of white people over there, like, there is a market for it. Like, obviously, they know they're going to say make some kind of money doing this to do it, to bring white, to to actually 
seek out white dudes to to learn Korean and do K- Korean pop style, Korean style well, pop music. I'm gonna say I'm gonna keep saying Korean style Korean pop music. Style music, Korean <laughs> style pop music. They know that there's a market for it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and then they're gonna go. Ah, it's not just about money. It's like, yes, it is. Yeah. Even for the Koreans who do it, it's yeah. about money. They're getting their money, yeah. They're yeah, they're the all doing it for money. Their labels, their parents, anybody who's anybody who's their manager, everybody's just doing it for money. Yeah. I mean, but it's like I, I get it because it's like they're not only. I can understand if like they just took like the aesthetic of it, like dressed really yeah. like super uh, super like uh, yeah, like they dress super metroy and like fucking like whatever and they like look at the camera real long and they have like the like weird anime intro on the videos and like all that kind of shit but for you to literally go and like sing your songs in korean <laughs> yo they did a fucking show like, i would be like yo if i heard that shit i'm like oh, okay what else is on the menu <laughs> oh my god boom i'm on fire right now being racist as fuck it was or where, where it could go. When you look at K-pop, there's nothing that's traditionally Korean in it. Nothing traditionally Korean. And, and this woman who just spoke was Korean, and I promise you, she's making money off K-pop. She's making money off this group. It's like, ugh, like who cares? Who ca- you know? It's just like yo, all these people are always on this like inclusive. Everybody can do everything. Shit. Yes, yeah. It's like so what? It's like yo, dude. It's like others. It's like exactly for one. Exactly like you said, they, white people always try to. It's like you had white people years ago cranking that Soldier Boy on TV. Oh God! They couldn't help I themselves. That shit. Oh, oh, up in this, I'm look at me, I'm cranking it. Am I doing it right? And they're dabbing and all this other dumb shit. They can't help themselves. They don't make up stuff like that. They make up stuff about elves. <laughs> they make up fantasy. They make up fantasy. <laughs> they write fantasy novels. But uh, you know what I'm saying? It's just like when it comes to anything that's cool or anything, it's like they kind of have to do this. Like what else? The only time white people well, ever, the only time white people ever really were like cool to me is like like the whole grunge scene. Like that shit, to me, that's it. Yeah. Like, and, there, and, and there, there are other people who's like, no, nah, no, nah, I like more punk shit or metal shit or nah. whatever. And they, they, and they gravitate towards that. You see that influence in rap and in other music. Mm-hmm. But, like, for me, that's the only time they was like, because that was them being themselves, just being depressed and really mad at their parents and wanting to kill themselves. It's like, yeah, that's that's the white guy I know and love. <laughs> like, yo, a lot of people. You fucking school shooter. <laughs> a lot of people that I don't, they fucking, they love that punk, the punk shit. I can't. I can't tell. The, I can't tell who's who. What punk rock? Yeah, like I, it's, to me, it sounds the same. Oh, you make. Yeah, I know. It's not. I want you. It's it's, it's some of it's, it's it's like maybe like a few of those songs that I like, like Green I've heard Day. And I like and shit like yeah, that. There's like a couple Green Day songs that I fucks with. Yeah, but I everything like else. Green Day. I like shit off. They have a, Green Day has an album called Dookie. It's a good album, and it's but, called. But it's Dookie. The album is Dookie. But it's like, oh, we call it like American Idiot. Dude. Oh, God, you're going, like, that's not my skill at all. I hated that album. But, I mean, but I, I see what you mean. Like, but then, like, then again, like you know, it's crazy. People me, who are, people me, who are punks, like, people who are, are punks, like, like punk music, yeah. they would they, they would spit on Green Day. They look at Green Day as being, like, sellout fucking, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, that's the, that's the weird thing I learned about white music. One of my friends, like, she loves MCR. That's My Chemical Romance. Yeah. That is like the gayest emo shit. That's emo. That's super emo. That's like I chill at Zoomies. I chill at fucking, what's the other place? In uh, the mall? Oh. Hot Topic. Oh, Hot Topic. That's the I chill at Hot Topic band. I fucking bought this shit at Hot Topic. <laughs> what, that shit? Yeah. yeah, you might be emo. You got, you don't know. You got to go take the test. I'm a you gotta go get tested. I'm a pagan, remember? You got to go, go get tested to see if you're emo. You got to get tested because I'm, I'm, I'm I'm a pagan, remember? That doesn't mean you ain't emo. Oh. The fuck? The, the motherfuckers are darkness. probably, those motherfuckers probably are pagans. The guy from My Chemical Romance, but yeah. He 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 wrote a comic book, and it made it into a Netflix show, and it sucks. Let's go let's back to talking about white K-pop people. This is pretty interesting. White and now they're doing tradition. All right, this would be, this would be what, now they're in the street doing like traditional Korean yeah, music, they, they would, like look, yeah. like with like the drums and the and the kabuki yeah, they were style performing. makeup. Yeah. If they if they came out and did this, that'd be kind of weird. <laughs> what if white people stole kabuki? Kabuki. 
to certain people when they see us, we understand that that is still Yo, surprising. Okay. Why is this guy who's a white guy in Korea doing K-pop talking like English is his second language? <laughs> Listen to how this nigga is talking. Traditionally Korean. Surprising. I understand every single person that had criticism. Did they say where he was from? No, but it seems like he's probably from like the Netherlands or something. I'm thinking these guys are internationally white. They probably got a guy from the Netherlands, the Netherlands. and then they have a guy from guy from Australia. Yeah, I'm I'm, all, I'm an Aussie. I'm an Aussie Cor Korean. I'm Korean. I come from where the big snakes live. Oh, I'm a Korean koala. I'm a koala. I'm a to Korean koala. Oh, yeah, good koala, mate. We understand that that is still surprising. We I understand that that is still surprising. Why is he talking like that? Don't you speak English? Speak fucking American. Every single person that had criticism. Criticism. I'm sorry. He's crying. We live here in Korea. We speak Korean. Working with the same producers, same teams who create other right. K-pop I'm going to be honest. Kind these of white K-pop dudes look like they're in a fucking, like, uh, like a comedy troupe. They like to do improv. Like, like how could sense. it not Yo, be? They all be look pop. 30 years old. Yo, they all look like a fucking audition class. They look 30. They all look old as shit. I'm here in Seoul, Myung South Dong. Korea, They're in a city called Myung Dong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where you at? Myung my Dong. My Dong. That's where I'm at. Edition. The world's first non-Korean K-pop group. <laughs> it's made up of four members. Shime, who's Croatian-American. Croatian-American? His name is... And they gave him a Korean name. <laughs> this is great. I remember Hunter, fucking Chinese. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, just doing the rundown of all the power <laughs> It's made up of four members. Shime, who's Croatian-American. Hunter, who's from New York. Frankie, who's from Rhode Island. And Koki, who's half Japanese, half German, raised in Texas. What the so with their first fuck? album in the tank and their lives full Yo. from New York, Frankie, who's from Rhode Island. The dude from Rhode Island? First of all, how a guy from fucking Rhode, Rhode Island, Island made it onto <laughs> a fucking, um, fucking... International uh, fucking startup. <laughs> I don't... But he looks like... He looks like a 33-year-old male hairdresser. Like, that's what he looks like. Seriously. He, like, he? Wait, wait. Look at this fucking dude, bro. Oh he God. looks like fucking... He looks like the dude who used to host American Idol. He's like Ryan Seacrest, bro. What the fuck? He, he looks, looks old as shit. Like Koki, he looks Japanese, fucking weird. Half German Yo, this shit Texas. sounds... This so All this shit sounds like an anime. Toki's he looks like, like an anime man. character. That's how I was like, what the, the fuck does he look like? And their lives He's freezing. relocated to Seoul... I'm here to find out if a group of foreigners can actually make it in the K-pop industry. What What's up, up, dude? Welcome. How's it going? Good. What Welcome. up? What Welcome. up? Hey, you're black. What up? Good. How are you? Come on in. Uh, hey, did anybody stop you on your way up here? He's off when right. you enter. Yeah. This is like the place you guys have been in since this you got here. Welcome. Yeah. This is the castle. This is the castle, nice. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're not in the castle. They're definitely like... Living like roommates, they're four dudes living together in a fucking house. Oh, it's a condo. It's like a it's like a Korean ass condo. Duplex. It's a they Korean have a condo. Bigger room? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, yeah. no, bro. Oh, what? Okay, you you're room. in a you're Go in a K-pop group, yeah. and two of those beds are in the same room. What? <laughs> what? Wait, what? This is a castle. This is the castle. This is the castle. Wow. Technically, they have a bigger room, uh, yeah. Shimei and Koki, so we did rocks, paper, scissors, shoot to see. Oh, right. Who get the bigger room? Like, yeah, Nigga, this ain't yeah. real world. Why the fuck are the beds yeah. in the same room? It's five, it's four out of five dudes in this, ro in this, uh, in this fucking group. Why are they, why are they, why do they have twin beds next to each other? Next I, to I, each other? Next to each other? Bro, look how close these beds are, all right? Come on. Like, come on. Let's be real. Come on in. Uh, yeah, take your shoes off. Right. And take your clothes. Take your shoes off because we're in Korea. Yeah, we like our rooms. Yeah, we like our rooms. Look at growing up, I did a lot of. Not just fucking. Go ahead. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Right. You fucking suck. Go ahead. So Welcome. what? Fuck you. You should be doing this okay. anyway. Yeah. yeah.
I'm not gonna fucking yeah. take that. Technically, shit. they have a bigger room. Oh, yeah. Look how close those beds are. Paper, You're not looking. Look how close those beds are. Paper, scissors, Did you see how close oh, those beds were? Yeah. yeah, that's not enough. I mean, like, like what? Yeah. Like okay, sharing another another room well, with well, another I, man. It, there has to be some space. But it's uh, uh, yeah, exactly. Like, okay, nigga, it's just. Uh, but it's also College like they live there, but they in there in a. They're in a fucking K-pop group. What is going on? Like, I don't get me wrong. I know, like, struggling artist type of shit, but it's like, that's not what you're doing, though. It's not like you're independent artists who are like, yeah, y'all sleep in here. I'll sleep whatever. Sleep on the floor. I do. You know what I mean? Whatever. Because, no. You're you're fucking bankrolled by Korean billionaires. <laughs> what are you? What? Okay, whatever. Let's go. Did a lot of musical theater. Shit. Uh, he did a lot of musical. They probably don't fuck with them. They probably don't fuck He did with a them. lot of musical theater. Not oh, surprised. Good. School, That's the one I said that looks like Ryan Seacrest. He said did a lot of musical theater. He, he did, did a theater. lot of musical theater. So you know what? That's code for. He was in Cats at his school. <laughs> he was in Cats? He was in his, his college's production of Cats. Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> he looks like a gay Garfield. <laughs> I'm like, wait. Which I'm one like- did he play? Snagapus McMittens? They have some weird ass <laughs> names in that shit. I have never seen that shit. I've never seen either. I watched part of the movie that came out about it. I was always aware of it because when I was a kid, they used to show commercials for that shit all the fucking... Really? Yes. It was on Broadway for a long time. Oh. And it was super fucking popular. And like, it was like, I think, I think I'm, I'm guessing because I don't know. I'm thinking like it was probably like one of those shows where like it was up there so long and like it became kind of like an introductory, in, introductory kind of a thing for people who've never been to Broadway. Like, come see cats. It's like I've heard of that before. Let's go see cats. And it's like, and, then, and, 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 they, and they try to convince themselves. I really love musical theater. I think I'd go see another one. I I do not Ugh. like musical theater at all. Though. Yuck, gross. Yeah. The only fucking the only musical is the first and only musical I've ever seen was fucking Rent. And that's because the school took oh us. Oh, God, that's terrible. Well, the, our school. Rent is bad. Well, it's least. Yo, in his, in his liberal high school, his liberal arts high school's version of Rent, because we all know Rent's, all right, for anyone who's never, uh, who do, who's not aware of Rent, Rent is it's a, a very, Rent is a stage it's a musical. Play. It's a stage musical about fags getting AIDS. <laughs> Yo, guys, everybody has fucking AIDS in this shit. Everybody. Even the people who you don't expect to have AIDS, they got fucking AIDS. <laughs> The fucking guitar player has AIDS. Well, he don't. The, the fucking, <laughs> his girlfriend has AIDS. What it, was it? Circa 1992. This came out. It was about 1992 when everybody was just getting it. That shit is oh fucking deep. Yeah, I don't like to talk about that. I, I call it the. I remember. A, I talk. I call it the A word. I don't like to talk about it. We went to the fucking uh, musical because yeah, my high school was. You went doing, to go see it in New York. No, we went. Well, it, there was a uh, playing. Oh, it like came. It came to town. Yeah. Oh. That's on tour, or whatever. Yeah, because if they would have took you out of fucking, if they would have took you out of fucking uh, Broadway, Broadway, or even off Broadway, that shit would have cost a lot of fucking money. Yeah, yeah, they weren't doing that. But it was there's yeah. no budgets in school. It was <laughs> because I was the graphic designer. I was I did the he did the, he did the poster mm. for the gay musical. That, that shit fucking school. took. Yeah, I was semi motivated for it because <laughs> I was like I was like I, wow, I don't know what the fuck yeah, to do. I get to do the one thing that I come to this school to do, and they're like. Yeah, do do this about this gay shit <laughs> <laughs> and make it look cool. I remember taking the pictures. I had to fucking Photoshop this shit. Yeah, and that shit was just so fucking. I mean, it w- it was uh, it was a struggle. I'm gonna be honest with you. It was a struggle. The only the only musical that I've ever liked is the South Park movie, and that's it. That's the only musical I've ever liked. Every other musical is horrible. I don't like musicals. I don't follow musicals either. Uh, that's why I didn't like Coming to America. Yo. The, the new one, the new Coming to America. I didn't see it. Yeah, it was a feminist musical. Oh, oh. It was. It had a lot of feminist, a lot of feminist shit in it. I didn't care for. I didn't like it. I don't like propaganda in my movies, pal. But yeah, and it had a lot of musical. It had a mu- lot of musical numbers. One, one of which, the son, the new king of Wakanda, the son, he he was <laughs> rapping. Oh God. With, Ta- with Tatiana Taylor, what's her name? Ta- Ta- Tatiana Ali. Ta- no, not Tatiana Ali. Yeah, the the bitch from Fresh Prince. Nigga. Yeah. No, fucking Tiana Taylor. You know who Tiana Taylor is? I've heard the name. I don't know. Oh yeah, well, yeah. Her. She was in there, and they were like doing a. It was just corny. It was a lady up there singing like Midnight Train to Wakanda. I mean, not Wakanda, Zamunda. They live Amunda. in Zamunda. 
They should do a crossover where the people from Zamunda go to Wakanda. And the, people from, and the people will kind of be like, you mm-hmm. are all racial stereotypes. <laughs> this is very bad. You are making black Americans look bad. Please stop making, please stop making movies. Don't ever show your face on a movie screen again. <laughs> Don't please. let me ever Don't see you that. again. Eddie we Murphy, Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy, you <laughs> should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Yeah, that shit was trash. They do man. that shit. Yeah, some some like uh uh I think Haitians do that. Why you why you why you why you do that? Like they just they do that shit. They do the one. There was this guy who used to work with African. He's like, he's like, Mr. 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 Don't do that, Mr. <laughs> I was like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Mr. What do you do, Mr. Yeah. Uh yeah, but this guy's gay. He was in cats. Let's see. Cats. I was born and raised in Croatia, but I decided to just Goes to the states for one year as a foreign exchange student. To go to the states for some uh, years. Musical theater for the very first time. He went to musical the theater too. So what does that let you know? All these niggas originally wanted to be a Broadway actor, you know, but they all want to be actors. So that's yeah. what they're doing. They're just acting Korean. Well, Broadway is just pretty much the NXT of fucking <laughs> you of fucking acting. It's basically, he said it's the D League of yeah, acting. It's the D League, basically. I mean, it it re- well, well, well. You know what? People who it? people who are into the uh, the craft, the art of acting would, would 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 disagree with you, Isaac. They would say that the Broadway is the probably the major leagues of acting. You're no, you're, you're in a room, and it's it's not very well lit. In a room of fucking what four hundred <laughs> people versus being on the fucking big screen with 300 million that motherfuckers seeing me? That is a, your only audience that day is the cameraman and the director. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yo. Then, then then, you must edit it to all Yo. this technical bullshit. Pardon my Yo. language. When really Broadway is the, it's the sophomore, purest form sophomore of Sophomore, junior acting. year. Sophomore, junior year. Fucking film class. We would have to stay till like eight o'clock, filming the fucking plays, oh. filming the fucking orchestras. Oh. I would be like, no, you know, I'll say the this. The answer though. is no. I will say this though. I enjoyed it only because the two people who like in the class, like I fucked with them, whatever. So we were just goofing off. Andy bought us pizza. Yeah. So like, wow, Isaac, don't ever, really? don't Andy ever. Bought us pizza. If someone ever pulls up and opens a van, mm-hmm. don't get in, okay? So but, he goes, Andy bought us pizza. Plus, I didn't want to go fucking home. I was doing it Bad home. family life alert. Wah, 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 wah. That's Shit, fucking like, funny, yo. Shit, I'm fucking... Uh, yeah, I never did. Yo, there was this lady who used to come to our school, and she used to, like, try to, like, get us to, like, do plays. Like, she used to tell me, you're funny. You should be in... You should... I'm like, no. Like, she was like, why? And I had to, like... I whispered to her. I was like, come here. I'm going to tell you why I was like, because it's gay. <laughs> <laughs> because it's gay. She was like, Stu, st- 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 it is not... It's not gay, like, but maybe, maybe it's not very gay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I, I have to disagree with you. I think it's very gay. So, I mean, yeah, I just wasn't, I wasn't trying to do that. You know, like, act, like okay, acting in general to me, For you me, have to be around weirdos. Yeah. Actors yo, are weirdos. Okay, okay. Actors are uh, okay, at my, at my high inherently school, weirdos. Yo, the theater cl- the theater kids at my high school, yeah. they were fucking weirdos. Some of them were cool, and I ate lunch with them, and they were cool, chill as fuck. But some of them like they took themselves way too serious. No, not no, not, really. not that kind of weirdo. Yeah. What kind of weirdo are we talking about? It just like awkward. Yeah, like like the only time they could be their self was when they were on stage. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that dumb shit. <laughs> How are you gonna be yourself, nigga, when you have a fucking different personality? What exactly. The fuck? You will, you will never be yourself. Yeah, it's literally. Fucking, yo, acting is just it's just stupid. That shit is psychologically I never, torturing. I can you never keep playing take... different roles. You don't know who the fuck you truly <laughs> are. Shit. That's some fucking dumbass <laughs> shit to put yourself through. Imagine being like an actor shit. You're like, just. Like, Nigga, I said <laughs> that. Imagine, like, imagine, like, okay, you have, like, um, what's the fucking guy's name? He was in, uh, uh, he was in Gangs of New York. Fucking. DiCaprio? No, the other guy. Fuck. Why the I'm Butcher? Not? Yeah, what's his name? I forgot. Dale Day Lewis. Okay. Dale Day Lewis, when he played Lincoln, like, he's a method actor. I never seen Lincoln. Okay, but anyway, he's a method actor, but you know who Lincoln is. He's a method actor. Okay. So basically he said, like, uh, like you'd be like, oh, so you'd have to dress him as Lincoln, even when you're not shooting. So, like, he's sitting down at cra- the craft table, like, having lunch. 
It's like, so would you like a sandwich, Mr. Lincoln? Yes, uh, four score sandwiches, <laughs> three years ago, tomatoes. <laughs> Shit is dumb as fuck. <laughs> The biggest fucking ego ever. That's but, that yo, says. but it's like, but it's like either it's, one like, of, yo, it's either one of two things. Yes, either you're the most obnoxious, pretentious fucking or piece fucking of shit suck. that ever lived, or it's true what they say, and these niggas really like be like having the spirits of these people, yeah. like they do seances, and like he had like he was like he was like, and it's like I was gonna say I'm Lincoln now. I don't know. I was gonna say like uh, I feel like okay, if you're a good actor, you should. I feel like you should be able to turn that shit on and off. It would be more impressive. I mean, is it more impressive? It's kind of more, if anything, I think it'd be a little bit more, like, creepy. But I guess that's kind of how I, Heath Ledger was on, like, the Joker shit. Like, that nigga stayed up for, like, a month. He took, he like, one-hour naps. Every 24 hours, he would fucking take one He was doing a lot of drugs, like, keeping yeah. a journal, like, trying to, like, get into the mind of a psychopath or whatever. I don't know. Also, that bitch took his kids away, his wife, he's the, chick from, the chick from Dawson's Creek. She told him he couldn't see his kids, and he's Australian, so it really bothered him. He wanted to see his little babies. So, like, you won't let me see my children? I won't see those little ruse. Let me see those little... Where are my little baby dingoes? <laughs> Why dingo? Yo, I was watching the making of that shit. Like, the making of uh fucking... Actually, let's go to that and get out of white K-pop shit. Who cares? This is so fucking gay. Who cares if there's a white K-pop group? I don't care. <sighs> like, there's white everything. White, all white. All they can't help themselves. They're just fucking... They're just fucking colonizers. Exactly. I don't know. Um, what is this shit? Oh, yeah, like the making of the Dark Knight. Fucking, I don't think he committed suicide. I think he fucking, I, I think he just overdosed. I think he just overdosed on, on pills. On pills, took too many pills. He tried to take all them pills. You know what's crazy, though, is that fucking, at one point, fucking, um, there was this thing where they were talking to, TMZ was talking to like, and and not only that, but like Jack Nicholson is becoming. I think he has dementia, or he's going. Like he's like Alzheimer's or something like oh, that, shit. supposedly. But like, so like, and I think that's just a cover for Hollywood to say, "Hey, listen, the guy's sick, so he might say some crazy shit." It's like, nah, he's nah. saying real shit because he said he said he's like he's like, "Hey, how do you feel about Heath Ledger and the whole thing with the Joker thing?" He's like, "I warned him, <laughs> I warned him," because <laughs> you know Jack Nicholson played yeah yeah the Joker yeah. in the old one, and he said. I warned him that character will sneak up on you. Yeah. Yeah, I warned him. I told him being the Joker will make you fucking kill yourself. You got to play Jack Napier. Listen, I watched Dark Knight again recently, and Yig Ledger, that shit was monstrous. That was a monstrous performance, like, for real. Like, And then whoever wrote it, I think, I only seen it once. I think Jonathan Nolan, I think Christopher Nolan's brother wrote it. Some of the lines in that shit, like fucking, he was like, he was like, you know, you really get to know someone when you kill them. I got. He was like, I shit. know your friends better than you do. You want to know which one of them were cowards? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> oh shit, damn, okay. Like it was some dope shit in there. And another one, I gotta rewatch it. Yeah, that shit is on Netflix right now. Oh, he was like. He was like, you know what I like? I like gunpowder and dynamite. And you know what I like about <laughs> them? They're cheap. I'm like, okay. And then he burned the money. <laughs> remember that part? I don't remember. You! I told you I rewatched this He didn't shit. pay attention to the movie. Where did you go see it? In the movies? No, I was at my fucking aunt's house and it was on Netflix. Oh, so you're it. watching a room full of people. Where y'all was being niggas and talking and not paying attention to the movie. No, no, no. <laughs> I was by myself. In the living room. Yeah, this the part. This motherfucker rich as fuck. Bruce Wayne, he a billionaire. Well, go ahead. I was by myself, but like I watched it, but I don't remember <laughs> anything about it. I just remember the fucking the whole fucking uh, the back cave wasn't even a cave. It was like a white ceiling. That shit was. Yeah, yeah, but that was because if you watched the first movie, his home was destroyed. The the Wayne Manor was blown up by Ras Al Ghul. She doesn't even know about Rachel Ghoul in the in the in the Lazarus pit. Anyway. This is where they're talking about make any sense to people at all. We didn't want to have that moment on Heath where we just sort of, you know, made him dress up as the Joker and suddenly he's the Joker. That would have felt very artificial. And so he developed the look of the character with Lindy having a costume design. I mean that's, that was cool too that they made it like that his clothes were custom. Like he just sewed his own clothes and shit. 
And like, you know what I mean? It's like, yo, real shit, if he would have lived, this shit would have, yo, he could. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes from, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to, that's kind of fucked up to say, but sometimes it's better when people just whatever. Because then like, it's like, this is it. Like, this shit is quintessential. Like, it's the best. The only thing that sucks about the Dark Knight, and the only thing that sucks about the Nolan movies, all the fighting that Batman does in those movies is garbage. It's very stiff and it's trash. But other than that, the story, the characters. It's, it's, wait, you say it's stiff? How do they try to make it look like the video games? Huh? I mean, do they, how do they plan it out? Like, do they try to make it look like the video games? The Arkham movies? I mean, yeah. you mean the Arkham games? Yeah, I'm saying like you say like it's the stiff. fighting. No, yeah. it's stiff as fuck. I'm saying that the fighting in the video games is more like. I don't remember any of the fight scenes. I'm you well, why would you? <laughs> I mean, you don't remember anything from the movie, obviously, but. The fight scenes were fucking trash. I will show you a fight scene from fucking The Dark Knight. Yeah. This shit is, it's fucking bad. I think people have always kind of like said that this shit was garbage. Like, I, I mean, the, the, in the third one when he fought Bane, that was, I guess, decent, but it was still pretty bad. Like, this shit was trash. And look, look at this fight. Well, you take the ball. Just watch... This is the part, if you've ever seen The Dark Knight, what Isaac is now watching is the part of the movie where Bruce Wayne stands atop a tall building in Hong Kong where protesters are down below trying to keep their rights. And he's going to fly into the window and kidnap Lau, which is the, the, gang, the gang's accountant, who's left America and gone back to Hong Kong because China has no extradition. But guess what? Batman has no jurisdiction. And that's what they said in the movie. Oh, shit. That's him shooting his sticky, bomby things that are going to blow up the windows. Shoot a sticky load. They'll blow up. up, up. <laughs> they explode on I'm, I'm going to shoot my bat load all over you. It's going to explode all over Listen, you. Listen, Catwoman, I'm going to spray you with my bat load. Can't cut. Can't cut. Can't cut. Can't cut. Can't I can't, I can't even understand what the fuck they're saying. You can, yeah, you can't speak me. No, I'm trying. Look. Is he fighting yet? He's fucking gliding. He's down. gliding down. He's gliding down, guys. Else. The police, the police work for me. That's what he said in Chinese. That's Batman's wings. They're, okay, they're they fluttering can... in the wind. I have to narrate. It's a fucking podcast, you dumbass. We're not on video. Uh. <laughs> oh, just, uh. oh, stiff ass fight scene coming up. Stiff ass fight scene. Stiff ass fight scene. The stiffest fucking fight scene. Watch, watch when he starts, he jumps out, he's going to start fighting him now. Here comes, get the, here comes the SWAT team. Shush you. Yes, look at that stiff ass fighting. It's like Batman, that shit it looks is. Like, it looks like they're fucking like. It, it looks like karate. Yeah, exactly. Like hey. slow karate. Hey, yeah. yeah, like yeah. Yeah, yeah, like like the kind of karate you do when you're a kid. Like kid karate, backyard kid karate. Hey ya, huh, hi ya. It's bad. Everything else about this DC is jump to the next position over <laughs> and over again. <laughs> Everything else about his his Batman movies were amazing, but Just the fighting jump. was bad, bro. Fucking terrible. Oh yo, 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 yo. Happy birthday, Isaac, man. It's Isaac's birthday right now. Oh shit. Because it's, it's fucking midnight. So it's uh, 24 hours. Oh, 24, 24 minutes of midnight. Wow. It's crazy. So, I mean, I don't know, man. You, were you going to go get a cake or something? <laughs> Some balloons? No. You don't want any balloons? No. Bro, you trying to tell me you don't want balloons? <laughs> What kind of fucking monster? When you work at the store, I work at balloons on yo, their birthday. When you work at the store, I work at balloons are not your friends. Can you imagine if you were an adult and you still wanted balloons? <laughs> it's like, damn, nigga, I can't wait to get the fuck out of work. It's like, wow, just give me some fucking balloons, nigga. That's all I want. I just need like balloon, yeah, fucking balloon. What you gonna 
Eat the helium? Nah, <laughs> drink the helium? Did. Nah, nigga, just, I like carrying around balloons. Makes me feel whimsical. Makes me feel whimsical. Makes makes me feel like life, it makes me feel like life ain't so bad. Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to do one more thing, and then we're going to get the fuck off this stupid shit. I'm going to see. We're going to do a little, we're going to do a little thing called refresh and what pops up. Like, when Doomsday Preppers expelled, I don't care about Yo, that. how do you feel about the <laughs> Doomsday Preppers? I mean, they're preparing for something that is likely never going to happen. I mean, if it does, it'll probably won't happen in their lifetime. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever they're preparing, if they're preparing for the quote-unquote inevitable apocalypse, air quotes, inevitable. apocalypse, you know, like the fucking rapture, fucking any of that shit, I don't think that shit is going to happen in our lifetime, to be honest. I just don't. Aliens, I don't think any of that shit is going to happen in our lifetime. Yeah. If aliens were to come down here now, I would be so fucking skeptical. I'm like, this is the government. This shit is fake. <laughs> Don't believe this shit. Pull those aliens apart. There's probably like fucking wires in there. Styrofoam. Yeah, like get the fuck out of here. Like, I don't know. I don't know. If aliens were to come down here, they would be woefully unimpressed. They, they would just zap this shit. They would like, or they, I mean, it could be like the South Park shit where like they watch us and they're entertained yeah. by us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Other than These that, pesky humans, they kill each other. They do all this bullshit. I, I'm pretty sure aliens kill each other too. Yeah. yeah. But it's probably way less about things. Yeah. It, um, uh, what I mean is like it's way less about anything emotional. It's probably not about any kind of religion. Or it would be a logical reason. It would just be logical. Like, oh, we need these resources. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. Humans do that too. Yeah. That's what all wars are over. Resources. You know what I mean? They just want whatever this other country has. Resource or religion. I mean, nine times out of ten, the religion is just a mask for just also getting the resources. (laughs) They could give a fuck. This shit is just a cover. 